<laughs> Are we in the back of a cart? <laughs> no, we're not. It's fine. Hello? Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Okay. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, yeah, I work in the Stardock. Except Boss lady uh, knows best. Ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Accidental dismemberment. I love that. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. <laughs> yeah. And the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <sighs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps. We saw Heller in the space, video. Okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, it's most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? I kind of like uh, Heller so far. One of these days, Heller, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. <sighs> Mining is actually rock science. Can I go? <gasps> I'm moving. Okay. I'm walking one small step. New mission. How are we on time? Oh my god. Okay. A uh, little longer. Grab some samples. Okay. Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Me? Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Okay. Can I just? Roger that. Bye. Remember that. Oh, okay. I should probably follow. <laughs> and never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. All right. Okay. Yeah. Because God forbid we drill on a rock with a breathable atmosphere. Imagine. You know what I love about working in Freestar Collective Space? Pure regs. A job like this in the United States? <laughs> Dreams of red tape. I'm like so starstruck. Look at this one over here. Calvin! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! If you got paid per break, you'd be a millionaire. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Okay. What do we say, Dusty? Dusty. You make your cut. We in the you belt now. Belt no a Come on, pick it up. Troy, what's the yield? I'm just following her. At this point, occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? So Stay pretty. No, oh, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. You just ain't worth the squeeze. Why don't you move over to that big thing we looked at? Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Were they, Anya? Lynn's definitely a belter. I walk faster than her, so I have to keep stopping. <laughs> Do I want to? Mm, I don't know. Can we talk to her? Dusty, come on. With me. Get the cutter. The okay. I'll cutter. When I need you. Okay. I'm ready. Hold my swan to fire. Oh no, we're going mining! Okay. Okay. Uh, Accidentally could have shot her. A beryllium deposit. I'm busy. Not me looking at chat and then the laser just walking off. Where are the sandwiches? Ready, boss. Get back up here. Okay, I'm coming. Ooh, I just walked in front of his laser. Accidental dismemberment time. Hi. You're Hi. With me. Okay. No dismemberments on your first day. <laughs> Who needs an iron pickaxe? Why do I feel like there's going to be an accident of some sort? 
Like anyone else feeling that vibe? I was a minor till I took a laser to the decaps. Why is audio levels, by the way? Let's go. All right, let's go. Ella, get the readings. Yeah, about that. Problem? Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. Audio's good? Okay. I don't. You don't? What we're after, it'll read as an anomaly. That's it's me, God. I actually bought the Constellation Edition okay, for 250 now points. starting to freak me out. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. It arrives tomorrow. But Bethesda very kindly sent me an early access key as well. We're getting close. I think. Yeah, everything is just... <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Yeah, the one with the watch. Where is it, Hella? Yeah, Hella. You're there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. Uh, <laughs> why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? <laughs> Both of you do your jobs. <laughs> Client is on his way. Oh, okay, 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 I'll, okay. Bye. Send the new guy. <laughs> Hold F to turn on your flashlight. Okay. This is not a bad idea at all. I'm gonna take these, yeah? What color is your shirt asking for a Star Trek? Um, still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. Okay. Do you see anything? Well. That sure looks familiar. Use the mi the cutter to break up the mineral deposits. I mean, the fact that the HUD's going all glitchy. Touch it, I'm sorry. A new hand touches the beacon. <laughs> the music in the background. Come on. Come it is on. like the Prothean okay. beacon. Take it easy. You were out cold. Although uh, slightly less no creepy. Physical damage. Mentally the jury's still out. Wow, Heller. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Why is she any holding of it? This look familiar? Hakey, go! All right, for anyone who just got in, hi, my name is Psyche. It's nice to meet you. I do have very early access to Starfield because Bethesda was very kind and sent me uh, an early access key that is only exclusive to some creators and some journalists and stuff. Um, yes, I did also buy the game. I have bought three copies of the game because I wanted to make sure I had access to it today. <laughs> I have uh, the Constellation copy is coming tomorrow and we have a premium digital copy for my partner. <sighs> I'm just really, really excited. I'm very honored that they asked if I wanted it and I'm very excited. So this is a biometric profile. How does this work? Ooh, excellent moustache. This must be like a preset. It's very nice of them. Oh, thanks, Jinx. Everyone get comfortable, gonna be here for a while. Right, let's start at the beginning. We have a guy. Oh, she's pretty. You should edit in an overlay here to tell VOD watchers when character creation is done. Absolutely not. Don't be a wuss. Also, in the YouTube video, when I upload it to YouTube, there will be chapters, so you can skip character creation if you wanted to. Um, let's see where we want to start from. I may have finished creating my character by the time you all have access to the game. Maybe. These are all good starting points. It's 90% of the game. I don't know where I want to start. <laughs> it's 50% of the game. Prove me wrong. Granny! <laughs> There's so many presets. Holy crap. She has purple eyeliner on. I don't know where I want to start. I think I kind of want to start with one of the ones that was at the very beginning. Yeah. 
Okay, so can we have purple hair? <laughs> can we have purple hair? Because you can have pink hair. Can we have purple hair? I'm going to be pretty happy. <laughs> Tim Curry was right. Space. <laughs> um, I do like a lot of these presets, but I think I really liked the one at the beginning the most. So let's go with... I think I like her as a like starting point. We can rotate. Okay. Um, biometric customizations can be changed later by visiting a genetics facility. So that's excellent. Right. Okay. Let's continue. Next. Body. Okay. We got like all sorts of body type shenanigans happening here. I still don't even know what I'm going to play. I do kind of want to be a muscle mummy, though. Not going to lie. I kind of want to be, like, a muscle mummy. Let's do that. Walking style. We have body type. That's pretty nice. I'm surprised there's no music in this. Look at those shoulders. I'll keep that skin tone. Right, let's go all the way to the beginning. Can we zoom in? Okay, I don't think we can zoom in on this. I am going to make myself, so I am hacking pale. Okay, okay. We got a we got a bit of variability. That's pretty nice. You want to arm wrestle her? Me too. Right, let's go. Okay, so you can adjust the skin tone in this menu as well, so you can see it. <laughs> see, what the heck? Is menacing a walking style? It should be. Skin tone Irish. <laughs> it's translucent. Wow. Uh, you're not wrong, but still. Right. What hair options do we have? We go back to the beginning. All the way to the back. Of the ba back to the beginning. All the way back to the beginning. All right. Let's see. What have we got? I'm going through every option. I hope you know that. Ooh, cute. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> it's alabaster oh my god do you remember siberia <laughs> oh that's cute i like it um I, there's head shapes wait i should really look at head shapes i was not paying attention i was not paying attention oh i like the i like the bun complexion sickly <laughs> is forgotten by summer an option captain psyche the alabaster disaster I like this. I feel we are not going to see particularly long hairs because usually, I mean, look at like Mass Effect, for example, we didn't see particularly long hairs because they always end up like getting in the way of spacesuits and stuff. I would like longer hairs. That's kind of cute. That's the one we saw, I think, isn't it? Give us the high ponytail, cowards! <laughs> Complexion Victorian ghost child. <laughs> you want your hair to be the death of you. You'll die for pretty. Me too. That's actually kind of cute. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of cute. Uh, this is giving uh, fallout kind of a little bit. Do you know what I mean? You can't have long hair under a helmet. Not unless it's tied up, right? So I kind of think I want to go with this. I like it. But I do kind of also want to see what the... Oh, hey. You can... You can like squareify your face. That's kind of cool. Do they change like in general? Okay, they give you like a bunch of presets. I kind of like that one. Does that kind of as a Fallout reference for the bingo? No, Fallout reference is in the game. Uh, hair color, right, come on then, let's see. Okay, we have white and various shades of blonde. Will they give me purple? They have various shades of kind of like a gingery red. Oh, that's kind of neat. They have like a red toned black. Whoa, whoa, that's pink. That's like fiery blue, dark pink, other blue. They didn't give me purple. <laughs> okay. I'm so sorry, 612. Okay. All right. I kind of like that. I also kind of like that, not going to lie. I kind of like that a lot. Modders, modders are going to take care of it, don't worry. 
That's it. Return it. <laughs> no, no purples. You're literally unplayable. <laughs> I think this is the one. I think this is the one. Holy moly. There are like, you can blend the eyes together to have like different. That's cute. Eight's nice. I like eight. I think I like eight. But then look, you can like shape blend. That's wrong. I said I liked eight. You can like. Can you? Oh, that's really cool. So like technically you could like have a blend of multiple different eye types. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's more. There's, there's like a scroll bar. There's a scroll bar here. So I think there's going to be eye colors. Um, give her big eyes and then forward and back. Let's see. Oops. Down and up. That's fine. Okay. And then scroll down. Eye color. Will there any be any bingo bango bongo? I don't want to leave the jungle. <laughs> uh, let's see. Whoa! I think that I like that they actually look like human and pretty and not uncanny valley puppets for sure. Are people already playing? Um, some of us got early access as content creators or journalists. Um, if you type exclamation mark Starfield, there's a brief sort of explanation. I like that color. Ooh. Or it won't because I didn't add the command. <laughs> Hang on, I have it. Hold on, I got it. I got the command. I got the command. I have it written down on my desktop. I just forgot to add it. <laughs> I forgot to add it. But yes, early access for everyone else starts this evening at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. Right, I think I would like to go with that color. It's not very close to my current eye color. My eye color is like a kind of gr like dark grayish blue. Eyebrows! Let's go. I have... My eyebrows are aggressive. My eyebrows are extremely aggressive. I think we'll go with that one. Eyebrow color. I think I'll go for... Yeah, like a darker color. Forehead! Only 10 eyebrows? Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. You can choose your flipping forehead. You can have li like the little wrinkly lines on your forehead. Those have a name. I'm sure those have a name. That isn't just those little wrinkly lines. I kind of like that one. Yeah, your eyebrows you can do like narrow to wide. Like so. Or worry lines. That's what I was thinking of. Not just wrinkles. I like it. Um, nose. Like, look at the look at the the fact that you can select so many different things. Like, you have all of the different settings for the nose here. Eyebrow terraces. Uh, we're looking at like kind of the basic nose shape right now. I'm kind of surprised there's no music in this menu. Is there an eyebrow slit? There is. There was one, yeah. Inquiring lesbians need to know. <laughs> I respect it. Wait, I meant to do this. There we go. I'm giving myself... There we go. Ah, uh, narrow wide. I will say I think this will be a little bit easier if you have uh a controller this whole experience will be a little bit easier no you can be distracted you're right nostrils up or down right so everyone who's played previous bethesda games please compare this character creation to oblivion just saying I'm just saying 
Uh, okay, ears. I, I have ickle ears. Those are kind of cute. Things I don't normally say about people's ears. Night and day for sure. Um, narrow wide. Whoops. I keep pressing the wrong button. That counts as wrong button on your bingo card. If you have wrong button on your bingo card, congratulations. Make up a little bit. There we go. Cheeks. Can you make elfy ears? If you've just reset my settings, I'm going to be upset with you, Draggy. <laughs> no, you cannot have elfy ears. Um, cheeks. You could only create abominations. You're not wrong. You are very not wrong. There was only one type of character and it was an abomination. All right, hang on, let's uh, down and up. Whoops, I keep doing that. Hey, Brucey, how are you? Oops. What are the consequences for calling out a false bingo? <laughs> Prison! <laughs> it was really tricky, but you could make a character that wasn't horrific. Except for that, I feel like the colors and the lighting were all wrong, Daphne. Mouth! I have one of those. You're here to see what all the Starfield hype is about. I am excited. I am very excited. I kind of like that one. Although, um, scale up or down. Left or right? I don't know if I would want to move it necessarily off center. It's a nice, a nice mouth you got there. Thanks, I grew it myself. <laughs> the, the, the nope mouth. <laughs> I feel like her lower half of her face is a little bit further back. That is haunting. Girl, don't smile. <laughs> Just don't smile. It's fine. Don't smile. It's fine. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Jaw. That's kind of nice. I'm not sure about the mouth now, to be honest. She should definitely not grin at people. Maybe that mouth is better. I take it back. <laughs> Jaw. I think I like that shape, but let's see our other options. That was three. Well, that's kind of nice too. I know a lot of people. That was a hello fellow humans. Maybe we're alien. We don't know. We could be. Actually, I kind of like that one. I would give her a slightly wider jaw there. And back and forward, let's see. Yeah, that's better. And yeah, that works. Chin. Let's see your chin, girl. She does need more like, you know what I mean? I need to bring that. Oops. <laughs> I keep pressing that button. If you have wrong button on the bingo card, press. Uh, that counts as wrong button. I think. Maybe narrow that down a little bit. I think that's a little better. I think that's a little better. <laughs> Left in the creepy smile just for fun. Neck. Holy heck, the amount of like options that there are. That's impressive. What is a wattle? What is a wattle? What does wattle in or out mean? <laughs> That's your wattle? Well, that looks a lot better now because her, her jaw comes forward. Yeah, that looks better. Chin skin is a wattle. I love it. You can combine more, but I'm just curious about like 
where we're at. And I'm going to revisit hair now that I've kind of changed the face. It's the flap of skin under the chin. Interesting. A wattle. <laughs> I hate it here. Right. Jewelry. We have some nose piercings. Cute. And the jewelry color can change. Earrings. Those are kind of nice. I like them. And then in one ear. Wait, does that have... Oh, thank you for symmetry. I hate it here for the bingo list. Did I say I hate it here? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you have only one so far? What's the one you have? Okay, I'm going to take this one. And then I'm going to change the jewelry color. That's silver. kind of want like a black metal. Oh, they have like a kind of teal one. It's kind of cute. Purple's cute. Hack it, we're taking purple. Dermostatic. I don't know what this means. We're on 42. Let's find out what this means. Oh, it's like, okay. Gotcha. Okay. And you can refine the intensity. Let's actually do that. Let's turn the intensity all the way up so we can see what this means. I'm not here, but I just have to say, I love that the slider backgrounds are DNA. They're, it's really cute, right? All right, okay. I will turn the intensity down a little bit. I just wanted to see what they were a little bit more like, obviously. You need the dead girl skin color. <laughs> you trying to make Rosa. <laughs> I would like some light freckles around the nose, for that is what my freckles look like. Let's see, do we see anything that works for that? I mean, this one kind of does. And then turn the intensity down. Although it's more like a kind of cheek. Maybe we liked 42. Yeah, I kind of liked 42 with a little bit more intensity. Right, what else we got? Complexion, color, temperature? You could totally do this, Rosie. You could make this happen. You could make this happen. You could change your, like, undertone. Let's see. Okay, that doesn't... If you change it all the way down to nothing, it doesn't do anything anymore and then complexion blemish oh these are where we get freckles i disagree with calling freckles blemishes yes that that intensity down and color kind of like that that's kind of that's kind of me i don't even know my undertone i have tried for <laughs> ambient sarcasm i have tried for forever to figure out what mine is and I don't know what it is. Scars! Right, we always have an eye scar. I don't I don't know what to tell you, besties. That is just the way it is. I always, my characters always have an eye scar. Do I want it to be that? That's the one. That's the one. Hi, Ben! How are you? Facial forms. Oh, okay, so you can have eye bags. I have those all the time. Let's give that more intensity. Don't worry about it. This is not what we're gonna settle on. I just wanna see. Oh, you can have like a chin dimple. You're preloading now, hell yeah. I'm pretty happy. Do I wanna give myself a little, a little one of these? In protest of the person on TikTok who's like trying desperately to get rid of hers. Um, And then you can have multiple. This is the way. Yep, that's it, that's the face. I love her already. I do love a good eye scar. Uh, what was the word? What was the line? What's the line? The Keanu Reeves line? Wounds heal, chicks dig scars, glory lasts forever. A bear. <laughs> she got the scar from a bear. A space bear. Tattoos. That is a space cat. That is a space cat. That is also a cat. Okay, Bethesda, I see. I see you. 
I see you giving us space cats already. <laughs> she got the scar from a lion named Scar in space. Space lion. Yeah, the American football one. Is it? Uh, is it wounds heal, chicks dig scars, glory lasts forever? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Kinda wanna pop emeritus. <laughs> but like, hear me out. Oh, I kinda love it. But I don't know that I'm going to do the playthrough that that suits. So I think I'm going to say no to that for now. But I, I kind of love it. Papa Emeritus cosplay. Cheeks. But we're not even halfway through. <laughs> All right, let's do intensity up just so I can see what we're looking at. What are we working with? I like that one. Yeah, we're going that one. Color. I think that cut, not that intensity though. That'll do. Cheeks too. Yeah, why not? You can have... I have got to stop pressing that button. <laughs> okay, lipstick. All right, that's lip liner. We can give her a lip liner. I might do that. I keep pressing E. More cheeks. <laughs> uh, let's see. I kind of like it. Lipstick accent. What about if we had like a high gloss? No, okay, we can't do that. I think that looks quite nice. I think that looks good. I think that looks good. Make her the color of my eyes? What, like her her hair or her eyes or her skin? What do you mean? <laughs> that does not count as what do you mean on the bingo card, by the way. It doesn't. Eyeshadow. Give me eyeliner or give me death. Is there an eyeliner? Eyeliner separate. Okay, perfect. It doesn't because it's it has a specific intended purpose. It has a specific intended purpose and you know it. You can hear Jennifer Lawrence saying it. <laughs> when the mods are ruining your entire life. Oh, hey, this is cute. Yeah, this is cute. Okay, okay, okay. And then eyeliner. Give me this one. No, not that one. Ooh, what's going on there? I think I need to see this with a black liner. That one, I think, is, there we go. And then intensity, yes! But isn't that the purpose of mods? The scrolling sound sounds like old platter-based hard drives doing scanning, which is really cool. But when you hear it this much, it usually means your hard drive's about to crash. I'm sorry, I promise, I promise it's me. Eyeliner lower. Oh, you can have extra. Ooh! I'm not gonna have any, but that's pretty cool. Dirt! We can have dirt, but no dirt. Uh, background. <gasps> My girl. Okay, now we have to read through them all. Now we have to read through them all. Beast Hunter. From the Ashta of Aquila to the terramorphs that plague the whole of the settled system's hostile alien life abounds. You've learned the skills to track them, find them, and take them down. St Gasp is on the bingo card. <laughs> Starting skills. Fitness. In space, the greatest commodity is oxygen and the increased lung capacity gained by a regular physical fitness regimen is essential to survival. Reviews are dropping. Bethesda Starfield is everything fans want it to be. Oh, we love to hear it. We love to hear it. Space Dragon Rider. I'm really tempted by uh, Cyber Runner. I'm not going to lie. Already, I just looking at it, I know. I just know. This does not count as lore time. Um, ballistics. Centuries of conflict have proven that when it comes to threat elimination, few things stack up to the reliable power of high-speed projectiles. 
gastronomy. Access to brand new worlds means access to brand new ingredients. And there is almost no limit to the delicious foods and drinks a talented chef can prepare. Uh, bouncer. Oh my God, Braddy, what if it was like Dink was bouncy? <laughs> bouncer, you've worked the line at the toughest clubs in the settled systems. Back then, you learned that most non-lethal con confrontations can be solved one of two ways, a strong right hook or a more strongly secured door. Um, boxing, once considered a sport of kings, boxing is still practiced as a recreational competitive activity, but its combat applications, I can speak, um, can't be denied. Security. While the standardized digital locking mechanism is renowned for its security, any code can be broken with the proper training. Fitness. In space, the greatest commodity is oxygen. We've already done that one. So wait, this is okay, that's that. Bounty hunter. Wherever they are wherever there are wanted individuals, I'm tempted by this too. There are those who profit from their capture, and your quarry knows that in the vastness of space they can run, but they can't hide. Uh, piloting. As more people journey into space, the number of those certified to effectively pilot various types of spacecraft has increased dramatically. Uh, targeting control systems. Missile weapons are favored because they can lock onto an enemy ship, but an intimate knowledge of tracking systems can make them even more effective. Uh, boost pack training. <laughs> the way I'm so excited to have a boost pack. Specialized training and innovations in personal mobility systems have allowed for unfettered exploration on alien worlds. This is the way. Game where you play a bouncer server club and yet somehow end up punching a satellite in space. <laughs> Four hours of character creation never takes off helmet. Raven, you're right. Um, chef, while the unrefined mass is scarfed down chunks by the shipload, you cater to those with a more discerning palate. In your kitchen, countless alien species became true culinary masterpieces. Oh no, Garrus, I'm so sorry. Starting skills, gastronomy, dueling, and scavenging. Dueling is considered considered by many to be a lost art. Close attacks with a melee weapon can often be deadlier than range. You literally fight with your chef's knife. Um, deadlier than ranged combat when carried out by a skilled practitioner. Scavenging. There are those who can find just about anything and their success is usually dependent on knowing how and where to look. That's kind of cool. Combat medic. Leave it to human beings to fight over something as infinite as outer space. That's where you come in. You've never been afraid to take on the enemy, but you'd much rather take care of your friends. Master chef. French chef playthrough. <laughs> I'm not sure that's what Garrus meant whenever he said eat me. Medic! Medic! Pistol certification. Considering the popularity of the personal sidearm in the settled systems, familiarity with such weapons is often considered essential. I, Commander Chef. T's making fun of me because I accidentally called Master Chief Commander Chief once. Medicine. Only through advancements in medical training and technology with hu has humanity been able to withstand the galaxy's many dangers. Wellness. By embracing an active lifestyle and good nutrition habits, one may improve their overall sense of health and even gain prolonged life expectancy. I almost said health expectancy. Cyber Runner. From Neon to New Atlantis, the megacorps st stand as monuments to power, prestige, and profit. You've worked both for and against them on the inside and out, often sacrificing conscience for credits. Stealth. For a combatant who values discretion above all else, the ability to approach a target while undetected and kill with a silenced weapon is as terrifying as it is effective. Security. While the standardized digital locking mechanism is renowned for its security, any code can be broken with the proper training. Theft. While not entirely honorable and certainly not legal, it is nonetheless occasionally necessary to discreetly remove property from someone's person. Her character only knows one spell, cast iron. Throwing lives have made their V look like Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Amazing. I like the sound of Cyber Runner. This sounds pretty great. It is going to be the stealth archer build, you're right. Cyberneticist. Robots, mere toys. Neuroamps, good for parlor tricks. The colony war may have made implants and upgrades available to veterans, but you once saw a greater future. Humans and machines as one. Starting skills, medicine, security, and lasers. Personal laser weapons are widespread use across the settled systems, and specialized training can greatly increase their effectiveness. Diplomat. We're obviously not playing diplomat. <laughs> Theft is so judgmental. The wars are over. Peace now reigns in the saddle systems, but only because there are those quietly fighting to keep it. Because of you, agreements were signed, words were heeded, lives were spared. Persuasion. In the saddle systems, the nuanced ability to listen and discuss can often accomplish far more than simply shooting first and asking questions later. We're obviously playing shoot first, ask questions later. Obviously? Um, commerce. In the saddle systems free market economy, 
Almost anyone with the right skill set can open and run a successful business. <coughs> Capitalism. Um, and wellness. Uh, explorer. Oh, this might be mine. They said exploration is a lost art. You didn't listen. As the major factions argued over the space, they desperately tried to control. You were busy uncovering the wonders of the settled systems. Lasers. Astrodynamics. Advanced technology is one thing, but it takes skill, patience, and a little bit of love to coax even more capability out of a ship's grav drive. Surveying. Humanity now has access to untold alien worlds and the ability to decipher all that data while on the ground has become an essential skill set. That is tempting. So for me, my shortlist so far is Bounty Hunter, Cyber Runner, and Explorer. They're all very different. <laughs> Sneak first, shoot them when it's not noticeable, cast speak with dead. Wait, wrong game. <laughs> We're definitely playing an anti-diplomat. The Star Trek playthrough. I like that. Gangster, you were always disgusted by suckers killing themselves to make an honest wage. As soon as you were old enough to hold a weapon, you took what you wanted from anyone unlucky enough to have it. Shotgun certification, the cornerstone of close quarters combat or CQC. The shotgun has proven a simple, deadly weapon for hundreds of years. Boxing and theft. Homesteader, the discovery of the settled systems, many oxygen rich planets and moons meant humans could live just about anywhere if they had the know how. You did and utilized it to great effect. Geology. You could be a geologist? Newly discovered minerals mined from alien planets and moons have directly led to some incredible technological advancements. Surveying, we've already read about. Uh, weightlifting. Weight training can significantly increase one's ability to carry weapons and equipment, both in space and on the ground. I love rocks. <laughs> Industrialist. There was a time when you wanted to be, all you wanted to be was a titan of industry. Maybe a ship designer or a mega corp exec. Thankfully, that skill set never goes out of style in the settled systems. Uh, persuasion, security, and research methods. Hi, April. How are you? Um, by skillfully employing both new and time-tested methods, a researcher may complete projects faster and even gain unexpected insights. Uh, long hauler. Yet those let those other hot-headed pilots obsess over laser weapons and maneuverability. You're a space trucker, pure and simple. Pack the cargo, get it there fast, get paid, repeat. Life is simple, but good. <laughs> so it's like your job. Um, weightlifting, piloting, and ballistic weapon systems. While there have been significant advancements in shipborne weaponry, sometimes the simplest tool is the most effective. Oh my gosh, we're literally in character creation for the last 45 minutes, April. Um, pilgrim, wayfarer, wanderer, seeker, transient. No mad vagabond, call me what you will. Da, 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 da. Sorry. You've been called many things during your travels and learned something those others could never understand. The journey is the destination. Um, singing! <laughs> Do you have that on your bingo card? <laughs> April, yes, please. The music was in my head. I think it still counts, though. Um, to, well, does it kind of? It says singing along to music, then it doesn't. <laughs> if, it's, if it specifically says singing along to music it doesn't count uh scavenging surveying and gastronomy um professor you always enjoyed learning but nothing could compare to the joy of teaching others as humankind spread throughout the stars there was never a lack of knowledge to obtain and you gladly assisted astrodynamics we already read about that one right yes uh so we've read about all those so it's astrodynamics geology and research methods um, Ronin. Some of you were looking for this one, right? Uh, masterless and unbound, you wandered the settled systems as a blade for hire. To some, you were a simple mercenary. Uh, re where did I get mercenary from? <laughs> you were a simple mercenary. How did I swap the letters around in that? To others, a hero. And to a select few, a nightmare they could never wake from. Okay, I love that one. Um, dueling, stealth, and scavenging. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's gonna be melee stealth. That's pretty interesting. Sculptor. Rear scenario, annihilating that ass. <laughs> Um, where, with your knowledge of an anatomy and skilled steady hands, you could have had a lucrative career as a surgeon. Instead, you followed your heart and created works of art to amaze and inspire. Medicine, geology, and persuasion. Interesting. Soldier. The settled systems is no longer, to, is no longer, is no stranger to warfare. And if there's one thing armed conflict relies on, it's trained warriors with guns and guts. You had both. Simple, bloody work, and you were great at it. I kind of like soldier, to be fair. Sculptor, medicine, serial killer, origin story, fitness, uh, ballistics. Centuries of conflict have proven that when it comes to threat elimination, few things stack up to the reliable power of high-speed projectiles. XLG, thank you for the resub, by the way. Happy 75 months. Welcome back. I like soldier. Not gonna lie. 
I like soldier. Cyber runner, bounty hunter, explorer, and soldier. Space scoundrel! Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I find it. Good, bad. Who's right is it to say? I find it. That's me. That's me. That's me. That's it. I don't even need to read it. Um, if there's anything you've learned while traipsing through the galaxy, it's this. Space may look black, but it's really one big shade of gray. <gasps> it's my character! Pistol certification, piloting, and persuasion. That's it. That's me. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Did I almost yank my earphones out of my ears with excitement? Yes. It's space scoundrel. It's the one. Kamina Psyche Drummer. <laughs> Xenobiologist, the Settle Systems is home to untold alien species, and while none of them have yet proven sentient, they ne that never deterred you. So you saw that sounds on this stream, that's a little questionable. Um, so you sought out and studied them for whatever gifts they offered. Oh my god, so when will we see the game? Once I'm done with character creation, bestie. Um, lasers, surveying, and fitness. Uh, file not found. Oddly, there's no information on file about your past life. Clerical oversight, deletion by some powerful unknown faction, or was there just nothing of note to mention? Whatever the reason, your past is known only to you. What's important is the here and now and the path you're about to forge. Ooh! Oh no! I kind of like that one. Wellness, ballistics, and piloting. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. I do like a good mystery. I think I'm going space scoundrel though. <laughs> Xenobiologist is 100% a psyche stream questionable. <laughs> Mystery woman. Oh, but like, okay, so space scoundrel is pistols, piloting, and persuasion, and file not. Ah, that's very cool. I think I'm gonna go space scoundrel though. I feel good about shooting and then run away. That's what that means. <laughs> Maybe, Livic, that's an interesting thought. All right, and then I'm going to take Space Scoundrel. Yep. Traits. Okay, so these are optional. You don't have to take them. But I think we're... Pro yeah, they do have story impact. You have, like, specific interactions. So, Psyche Solo. You have specific interactions you can have with people, depending on your background. I think Scoundrel. It has to be. I do like the idea of mystery, but I'm going to do another playthrough. Right, so we have alien DNA. You volunteer for a controversial experiment that combines alien and human DNA. As a result, you start with increased health and oxygen, but healing and food items aren't as effective. 936p, 1080p is uh, not really very nice looking on Twitch's encoding if you cannot have a higher bit rate. So 936p is a nice down step without going all the way down to 720p. I'm not going to go further than this. Does not kind of story time. Thank you for going through the all the options. You are so welcome, Zip Ziggy. I know not everybody likes that. The math checks out. It doesn't count, T. <laughs> the alien option. The alien option. Alien DNA option is you volunteer for a controversial experiment. All right, I'm not taking that one. But I like story time. We'll have story time. Don't worry about it. Dream home. You own a luxurious, customizable house on a peaceful planet. Unfortunately, it comes with a 125,000 credit mortgage with Galbank that has to be paid weekly. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't want a mortgage in space as well. Empath. I'm somewhat of an empath. Um, you're deeply connected to the feelings of others. Performing actions your companion likes will result in a temporary increase in combat effectiveness, but performing actions they don't like will have the precise opposite effect. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Extrovert, you're a people person. Exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring with human companions, but more when adventuring alone. Can't be combined with introvert. Freestar Collective Settler. You gain access to special Freestar Collective dialogue options and better rewards from some missions given by the faction, but crime bounty towards other factions is greatly increased. Mm, I don't know about that one. Hero Worshipped. No, thank you. No, thank you. Mm -mm. Don't you try and lure me into saying something that's on your bingo card, Zoli. You've earned the attention of an annoying, adoring fan who will show up randomly and jabber at you incessantly. On the plus side, he'll join your ship's crew and give you gifts. I don't want him. <laughs> Introvert, you really need your alone time. Exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring alone, but more when adventuring with other human companions. Uh, that is me, but I would like to have companions. Kid stuff, your parents are alive and well, and you can visit them at their home, but you will automatically send 2% of your credits home to them every week. That's kind of cute. Neon Street Rat. You grew up on the main streets of Neon. You gain access to special dialogue options and better rewards from some missions on Neon. Crime bounty by other factions. Is I kind of like that one. Yeah, you can have three. I think it's cool. 
Raised enlightened, and you don't have to have any. You grew up as a member of the enlightened. You gain access to a special chest full of items in the house of the enlightened in New Atlantis, but lose access to the Sanctum Universum chest. Raised universal. You grew up as a member of the Sanctum Universum. You gain access to a special chest full of items in Sanctum Universum in New Atlantis, but you lose access to the house of enlightened chest. Serpent's embrace. You grew up worshiping the great serpent. Grav jumping provides a temporary boost to health and oxygen, but health and oxygen are lowered if you don't continue jumping regularly like an addiction. Can't be combined with any other religion trait. You're just zoning out constantly, missing all the juicy bingo things. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, spaced, your body has become acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased when in space, but decreased when on the surface. Taskmaster, occasion, wait, I become Greg Davis? My religion is jumping in video games, yes. <laughs> Boins assassin. Occasionally, if you have crew trained on a certain sy ship system, that system will automatically repair itself to full health whenever it is damaged below 50%. However, all crew cost twice as much to hire. Terra Firma. Uh, you've never acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased when on the surface, but decreased when you're in space. United Colonies native. You gain access to special United Colonies dialogue options and better rewards from some missions given by the faction. However, crime bounty by other factions is greatly increased. Wanted. Someone put a price on your head and word has spread. Occasionally armed mercenaries will show up and try to kill you, but being cornered gives you an edge. When your health is low, you do extra damage. Oh, I kind of like that. For the for the for the space scoundrel, like you think I should take alien DNA, but then healing is uh, reduced. <laughs> so, <sighs> which one's the one? Is Free Star Collective the one that looks like space cowboys, or was that was it Free Star Collective? Which one was the one that looks like space cowboys? But alien DNA. Introvert serpents embrace wanted. I'm sold. I think wanted. Free star and wanted. I like that it marks off the ones you can't have. Um healing reduce equals more damage for longer. <laughs> I, I, do you want me to put alien DNA? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> Yes? Okay, fine. We'll put Alien DNA. Alien DNA, Freestar Collective, Sattler, and Wanted. I think that's it. I think, I think we're done. <sighs> All right, cool. Can I change these? I don't think you can change these. Are we done? Name. Oh, you can change your pronouns! You can change your pronouns! That's nice. I'm not calling her Metal Kiss. Did she fail character creation? Did I fail character creation? It's only been an hour. Alien DNA is why you're wanted. Will they pronounce it Psyche? Is this the end of the game? Let's go. Almost forgot about your application. The one note I had on your file it's me. was Troublemaker. It's literally me. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. It's literally me. You remember anything that happened? Uh, there was this light and music. It was incredible, like a dream or a vision. Everything's blank after I went into the tunnel, or what is that thing? It was, it's, it was incredible, like a dream or a vision. Easy there, high flyer. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. <laughs> it was a rave. You'll walk it off. <laughs> More walk importantly, it off. we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? I like that they're oh, looking at each other. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Beep. Speak of the devil. One small step. Press mice three to switch between first and third person. <gasps> it's me. It's me. Okay, but I want to be first person. A constellation contact is on approach. Wait, the explorers group? <laughs> I like the explorers. They were people. kind of a joke. Wow, Not a joke! You're just too young to know better. Big suit, little head. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with constellation. 
Yeah, come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't How the space you, we've Rosa? already got complicated enough? What do you mean? Not to them, apparently. Okay. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. Equip a helmet! Woo! Okay, here we go. Um... How, how do I... Here. Talk which quest is tracked on your HUD. Only one quest can be tracked at a time. Select the name of the quest to expand the list of open objectives. Select any objective in the quest to track a whole new, the whole quest. I can read, I swear. You can press the set course button to automatically navigate to your active quest objective. Did I say that? Did I say what do you mean? Oh, no. <laughs> Equip a helmet. I have to do that. Whatever I find in the mine knocked me out cold. Now whoever I paid for this whole operation is making a landing and we need to meet him. Okay. How do I, how, how do, how do I? Skills, inventory. Um, select the helmets category. Oh, the menu is kind of cute. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a space cadet. <laughs> Yay, I'm a space cadet. <laughs> Sturm, thank you for the biddies. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, wait, I, did I not equip it? Hide helmet in breathable areas. Yes. Uh, I did equip it. Oh, we're good. Okay. Here we go. It looks like an alligator head. Focus, thank you for the raid. Do, 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 do. I hear. Ship's really loud. Future Cleveland. Hi, Focus. Thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? That is a nice looking ship. Can I go? Can I go talk to them or do I have to wait for you? I'm like an excited puppy. NASA punk. Excited spaceship signs. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hey, it's Barrett. We met him in the, the video. I know that tree. This is Finland. <laughs> Barrett? <gasps> Basco! Basco. Hi. Been a long time. <laughs> yes, it has. Does he have my own with a gun Bindi, in it? Right? Kazal. Hellhole. Like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? We did. She's holding it. Right here. The new girl found it. New girl, it's me. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazan. And no Barrett. Not cool. Very ominous. She passed Not out cool. after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right? Went on a trip, huh? Uh, you could call it that. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey. I like his there. suit and his patches. Look, just hand over the credits. Poke a little hole in one of their suits see to see what happens. Or you ever again. This helmet's way better. I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. Uh oh. I really thought I lost them. Barrett? Well, that can't be good. Hold off the pirates! Well, shit! Optional grab a weapon. I mean, it might be useful, right? I would like to not have this. Oh, I don't think I have it equipped yet. I accidentally pressed middle mouse button. Hold on. We getting in here. I would like to equip my little pistol. Oh, it's cute. Uh. Oh, whoops. What's the exclamation mark mean? Oh well. 
That's fine. I have a pistol. I almost shot my friend. It's fine. This is fine. My uh, sensitivity is a little high. My sensitivity is a little high. I have 69 bullets. There's a guy to my right. Hi, Livy. Okay, I'm gonna loot them. Uh, pirate assault space suit. Oh wait, are there more? I look, I got loot to do. I got loot to do. Is it a BB gun? <laughs> he had like four headshots. He really did. Uh, what's this? You can wait. It's fine. This is this is a Bethesda game. I gotta do all the loot. I'm sorry. I'm coming. I can't hit him through that. Yeah, it's fine. Ooh, a furious rip shank. They don't trust you with the real gun yet. That counts as loot goblin. We appear to have suffered fewer casualties than would be expected. Okay, but I got loot to do. Horse Barrett was being followed every time. Every time? He has a history. Right, well, okay. You all sort that out. I'd like to see whether it's worth 69. What's DR? Physical resist. Okay, so this is worse. The pirate assault spacesuit is worse for a physical resist, but uh, energy or NG. <laughs> Defense points, what's DR though? D damage resist, yeah, maybe damage resist. Thermal and corrosive is higher. So I think I'll keep this one. How do we go back a screen? Hide spacesuit and settlements. I don't know if you want to do that. Tab is back, but hold tab is closed. Okay, new items. I got a knife. It sounds like a non-binary name. Hi, Tiggs. Immobilizer for emergency use only, designed to provide rigid support to injured limbs. Maelstrom, I got me a rifle? Okay, Um. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to equip it. And let's see. Let's see what the situation is like. Hi, don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. Okay, now what? Uh, I should probably look at my missions, huh? Where are my missions? That's my star map. System, set course, status. I forget, it told me how to open up my menu. Huh? You did good there. Thanks. You kept your head. I tried my best. I'm gonna loot. I have more loot to do. Oh, you're piece. still alive. I'm sorry. Oh, God. I'm gonna throw up. Hey, uh, I don't know how you kept your cool back You're welcome, there. Heller. I didn't just try to loot him. I don't know what you're talking about. Eh. Another rip shank. I, I thought that was a plunger. If you shoot him, you can loot him. What happens if you shoot a friendly in the face? I imagine I will be shot. My health could definitely be a little bit higher. <laughs> Can't believe the Crimson Fleet hit us. You okay? You in one piece? I did Good. take pistol specialization. Uh, I didn't I'm actually. My background comes with it. As my heart stops racing. All right. It comes with uh, you your background you comes with it. Ran straight at those pirates like it was nothing. Um, I took Space Scoundrel as my background. All right, I have definitely looted all of these. Anything else over here? I'm going to check absolutely everything. There's a random guy back here. He has meat. I did indirectly take it, yeah. 
You can take a bingo card from the top, the pinned message, or type exclamation mark bingo. I'm scared to go too far. I feel like I should probably talk to everybody instead of, you know, faff around. Hello. Don't let your guard down. Now that was some fine work Thanks. under pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions. I did. You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Great. Uh, if they can tell me what this artifact of yours is, I'm in. You take me off this damn moon, sign me up. Can I just say I appreciate how this is so much better? <laughs> The Skyrim interface. Um, if they can tell you, tell me what this artifact of yours is, I'm in. If you'll take me off this damn moon, sign me up. Whoa, wait, I didn't ask for any of this. What is Constellation? What is Constellation? You ever stare up at the stars at night wondering what's out there? Well, that's us. That's where we go. I love them. Um, they tell me what this artifact of yours Marcus. is, I'm in. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? It was very vague. I, I, I know, I know, but she's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as she touched that rock, something changed. It's true. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Thank you, XLG. No worries. It's a deal. Okay. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Um, don't you need me? Now that we've been attacked, oh, we've got to pack up and move on. Argos will come for the rest of us. You get going. Not Argos. Thanks for everything, Lynn. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, now that that's settled, let's go. Get her to the lodge. I no like deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo. Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. No it even chance. tells the time. <laughs> he gave me a fucking watch! <laughs> it even tells the time. All right. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? I have theories. I have theories. And also, Alex, I saw your message. Yes, I absolutely can. I went through them before stream because uh, I've had access to the game since 10.30 this morning. Um, there's a lot of, like, toggle instead of hold. And there's... Uh, you can increase menu text size and stuff. Um, it It's not very granular, but there's, like on or off for like larger tax size and stuff um why well, said me shouldn't you go you're giving me your shit who are you what's constellation see that's the problem with the settled systems too easy to take everything for granted while everyone else is busy playing politics we're the ones braving the unknown charting the vastness of space without us the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out Okay. What exactly did we dig up? That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer. With your help. Why was the Crimson Fleet after you? I'd really like to know that. They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot He's collector. He's a loot goblin! <laughs> you giving me your ship? Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Okay. Vasco will keep you on course. We got a Besides, robot I'm too. an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. Okay. Shouldn't you go? Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't yeah. notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. Okay. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. Excellent. And Vasco, don't let her break my ship. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I've never broken a ship. Oh my god. Pliers. <laughs> a bucket. Can I have the bucket? <gasps> you can do it. You can do the thing. <laughs> 
Does that mean... Wait, hang on. Does that mean... You going? Staying Get that artifact to Constellation. Damn it! This is fine. This, this is fine. This is fine. It's a bit too small to oh, actually sit. Learn more about what happened. Damn it! <laughs> on the robot? Okay. The bucket needs to be bigger for the. <laughs> it's on her bucket list. Sounds like you gotta go. I'm stuck on Heller. I'll talk to you in a second. No, Vasco. Right. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> Zayrus, thank you for the resub. Happy 40 months. We're still in one piece. Okay, he seems fine. Right. Well, before I get on the ship. What loot can I steal? Can I go back in? Damn it. Pocket won't fit. There's another bucket! Aye. Were you in that dust up? <laughs> you know you don't get paid extra for Space bravery, box. right? The bucket comes with us. It has to. Just breaking stuff. Take the buckets. I steal the buckets. Look, I gotta. Vasco can wait. I gotta check what what options we have up here. Astro zombie, please. Can I just like? company so that that checks out that's not the way to the ship <laughs> nope I don't, I don't know where i'm going oh whoa co2 bad 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 um i might be in tape i might die besties i'm okay i'm okay I'm okay, I didn't die. I didn't die. I didn't die. I didn't die. <sighs> okay, so I guess we're not going there. I got it really bloody close, didn't I? All right, bye. We bring the bucket. I don't know how you kept your cool back there. Let's go. In fairness, I think it was me sprinting. Just up the ramp, Captain. Okay. I'll be in the external robotics. Would you bay. like a hat? It appears you are the new captain of the frontier. Okay, hey, I've. I, okay, hang on. Shit. <laughs> I need this to work. Right, okay. Damn it! <laughs> Literally unplayable! <laughs> Protocol Indigo is in effect. <laughs> no false bingo. Jail. My pack. I board the ship. Don't kick it. Take off Captain. from Vectora. This is crazy. You know how to fly a class A starship. Sure. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. Yeah, sure. I will attempt to boost the shield to see if there are any difficulties. Sandwich. A digi pick. A chunks apple. It's a square apple. An apple flavored chunks food cube. View here, it's playing really well. Container of cereal, snack pack, choco bites, impact driver, a plant. I should probably leave the plant on the ship, to be fair. <gasps> a Nova Galactic coffee mug. Barrett personal stuff. You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol Indigo means no deviations, no distractions, no dalliances. I don't short, understand no that fun. at all. Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, that deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine I might need vessel, it, Space Nerd. A Discovery Class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. I guess I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation. Borrowing. 
Even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. This Stein can't stop me. I can't read. He has no intention of actually giving it back. Good lick indeed, pub rat. Okay. Interesting. Research station. I kind of want to look at everything. <gasps> An old earth bait. Value 650. Cube. Paper airplane. Nightwear? Soil box? Med pack. Don't use broken constellation space helmet. The urge to use is wild. Vacuum tape. What is this hovering over? Barrett, personal state three. There's a two. I've already read uh, one. Where is two? Because that is three. It makes an interesting noise. It's very pretty. I also really need to pay besties. Navigation console. Where is Barrett 2? I have three. Oh, I'd kill for some chunks right now. Really, would you? First stop when I get home. But I really need to get better about I'm taking off fashion. You've pinched two home. outfits. Some rhubarb boom pop. Rhubarb Maybe boom pop. Irvin always made the best trail mix. Added in little marshmallows for stars. <laughs> I missed that. That's cute. Um, does he have? Hang on a second. Is that a? Is that a comic book? A bed to sleep. A hat. Status. Tired. I mean, mooch. Look, they have a picture of the thing. Hydraulic clamp. I kind of want to see what the outfits look like. Hold on. Uh, inventory. Um, apparel. Nightwear. Oh, it's sleepwear. I thought it was going to be sexy. <laughs> I thought it was going to be sexy. It's not sexy. That's fine. We'll stick with that. The models look so good. It's really pretty. Right, okay. Plate. <gasps> I can't pick up the plate and throw it. Okay, that's fine. Where is number two? I'm sure. I am sure there... There's a toilet! I gotta pee. <laughs> leave it just sitting on the toilet i won't be long i'll be back in a second toilet is not on the bingo card don't lie pooping wasn't on my bingo card <laughs> close the door okay hang on hang on she looks so suspicious can i close the door i think i can hold on let me in for, for privacy what's this oh hey his personal slate number two is <laughs> it's in the toilet <laughs> okay we sit here i'm at the toilet I gotta pee. I'll be right back. <laughs> back in a sec.
she's just a spaceship of thorns and roses. Get out. All right, okay. I'm good. Um, okay, let's... Well, we hey there, irate pirate. Irate pirate. Looks like you finally did Hi, it. Obsidian. How Boarded are you? my ship, scrapped my bot, ripped those beautiful brown eyes out of my adorably cherubic face. I like pirate. And then you discovered the guy you had pegged as a treasure hunter doesn't actually have any treasure. Not anymore. It's true. I may have had a pricey trinket or two when I evaded your sorry asses at Kumazi, but brother had to buy fuel. Are we winning? We're winning! So you get nothing. It's true, you did have that ghost. baseball. Because I am going to haunt your asses till the end of your days. <laughs> Which, for a Crimson Fleet pirate, is about what? Uh, another week? <laughs> I like it. I have toilet paper, soap dispenser. I do not seem to be able to wash my hands. Space ghost. <laughs> Not me reading it. No, don't be naughty. Right, what's in here? We've got a kettle. Sorry, a kitchen tea steeper. Lunar robotics accept no limitations. Wash your hands before starting work. There's a fork. I've already stolen one sandwich, so we're automatically winning. Ready? Hi, Psy Guy. So far, so good. Snack pack gummy bugs. Let's do it. Chicken, coffee. Some bread! There was bread! <laughs> Dishes in the sink, it's fantasy land, and we're still a slob. <laughs> Ramen! Collect that shit, I did! Grinder, oh, I didn't know we had grinder in space. I can use the galley. I can cook? A strip of alien meat that's been dehydrated, soldered, and salted, and flavored with a mild teriyaki sauce. Alien sandwich! <laughs> Hi, Gogs! Alien scramble. Um, alien tea. Distilled water. Grilled cheese sandwich. Ham and cheese sandwich. Oh, this is the best. I can make sandwiches. You can track them to get the ingredients. Ready to brew. It was a tea bag made out of a plant. Research station. Research lab lets you discover new crafting recipes by completing research projects. Each research project requires materials in order to make progress. The materials needed can range from raw minerals extracted from planets to organic substances extracted from alien creatures and plant life to manufacture components that can be made at an industrial workbench. Pharmacology, uh, food and drink. I can research old earth cuisine. I've been in game for about 90 minutes, just under 90 minutes. Beverage development mixology. What's in pharmacology? We have performance enhancement. Ah, oh, looks like an inhaler. Medical treatment, heal paste. <laughs> Space Twinkies. Outpost development, manufacturing, resource extraction, decoration, horticulture. <gasps> Is there farming? Domesticate. Domestication? Did someone say space twigs? Pets! Power generation, robots, and outpost defenses. Okay. Equipment. Helmet mods, uh, spacesuit mods, pack mods, and weaponry. Barrel mods, grip and stock mods, optic and laser mods, muzzle mods. These are blocked. Oh, it's because I don't have the skill for them. Skill issue. Wow! T. <laughs> well, rip my variety streamer days. <laughs> okay, so we got a lot of potential mods that we can work on. My health is low. I'm going to eat something. What can I eat? I have. Does it kind of as aid? I'm not going to eat the bread. I'm going to eat this. No, I should keep that. I will eat the apple. That is not a lot of health that just got restored. <laughs> not a lot of health that got restored from eating an apple. Uh, hatch. Try throwing it. Am I throwing the sandwich? 
It's a cube apple. It's because it's called a chunk. Jump seat. It's very smooth so far, to be honest. Okay, go on then. That's an in-game snack break. Or no, an IRL snack break. It's the opposite. Ready. The rest is up to you. Space to take off. Oh, heck. We go into space. First flight. We go into space. Time to ignore the main quest and go exploring. Um. Oh. 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 Okie dokie. Now that we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. Oh, that's a good idea. I can step you through the entire process. Or, if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems. I am not. On our way. Walk me through it. Okay, optional. Power up all systems to skip tutorial. Learn to fly. Hold left, alt, and use WASD to switch between systems and allocate power. Get the hotels quick. You can skip the ship tutorial by powering up all systems, including the gra dra grav drive. Uh, WASD. Oh! Holy moly! Lasers, ballistics, missiles, shields, grav. Allocating power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Okay. Engines control our maximum speed. Makes sense. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. Okay. A ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. <laughs> Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Uh -huh. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. Okay. Ludicrous speed. Boosts can be engaged for temporary bursts of speed. Okay. Are you gonna make me do that again? Pips to English! Let's turn our attention to the shields. Okay. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Okay. Without a hull, they'll be vaporized. So be vaporized. Displayed in the lower right, hull damage is below it. Okay, that makes sense. Learn to fly. I have not learned to fly yet. What do you mean? No, oh, what? You've proven an adequate. Have I? Pilot. Are you familiar with ship combat tactics? Oh, because no, I'm not! Fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. No, I don't like it! Oh, press E to target the ship. Okay. We will need to disable their shields. Laser based weaponry is particularly effective. Okay, so here's the problem. I actually think I need to change. Oops, I need, this is weird. This, do, uh, this, I, this doesn't make sense, but I think it needs to not be inverted. Cause I don't know how to explain it as a person who usually uses invert. I don't know how to explain it. It's the way the radical moves doesn't feel right inverted to me. I don't know why. By the way, accessibility. So there's subtitles, dialogue, subtitles, item rotation, hold and drag can be on or off. So you can make it to be click rather than drag. Um, toggle iron sights rather than hold. And you can turn on and uh, turn off large menu fonts. That is all the options that they have. I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD. We can log in to fire a homing missile. The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging okay. the hull. One shield. Music's are great. Offline. Seven missiles left. 
mice too. I was like, what's ballistics? It's mice too. I, it's literally on screen. Congratulations on surviving your first starship assault, Captain. Thank you. We should search the wreckage for spare parts. Yeah, how do I do that? Salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can do access go the remains. Fly feels okay. Fly close to shipwrecks and press E to loot them. Okay. Fly feels okay. That was not Space Road Rage. That was, ha, ah, what do I do? I don't know how to play. <laughs> do I press E? Titanium, Iridium, and a mag pressure tank. Hey, okay, we did it. I'm just controlling my mice and keyboard. Ships are jumping into our location. Oh no. I wasn't ready for more combat. What do you mean? to be more maneuverable when I serve. Get hit by a missile. You've already lost. You've already lost, they say, as <laughs> they slowly blew up. Enemy missiles left on. Is there anything I can do about that? Vasco, Vasco, tell me what to do when there's missiles. My shields are on 43. right here. Okay. Ooh. Get around. The amount of prison fleet hostility has been far more than anticipated. At this rate, the odds of the continual music. assault from their ships are high enough Any to headlock? jeopardize I have no idea our yet. mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Oopsie. prison fleet. Ship parts. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete. Okay. A perfect staging area for pirates. So I guess we're going there. Travel to Crete. That's a bingo tick. Did I say oopsie? <laughs> like the sound of the, the guns popping. Can you walk around your ship? Yeah, I was walking around before I got onto the thing. Now, can I walk around while I'm in flight? I'm not sure. Press tab to open the data menu. From there, you can access the star map. Okay. This is my shit. <gasps> it's my ship. Look. Vasco's having us hunt down pirates. Kind of. So, how do you open? How do you open your uh, thingy menu again? Your quest menu. Fast skills. That's inventory. What's status? Character, general, exploration. Oh, it tells you all the things. So look, character, it tells you your background and your traits. Um, and you can scroll through that. Eh. That's pretty good. It, that's my ship. General, it tells you your locations discovered, explored, days passed, hours slept, hours waited, credits found, most credits carried, containers looted, magazines found, persuasion successes, afflictions suffered, <laughs> food eaten. I had an apple. <laughs> Uh, data slates read, skill challenges completed, and snow globes. Exploration systems visited. You can have multiple ships. Uh, planets scanned, planets fully surveyed. I don't know how it'll work, but um, planets landed on, flora fully scanned, fauna fully scanned, stations docked with ships docked with unique creatures scanned. Ship grab jumps, farthest grab jump, ships registered, max ships owned, most expensive ship to, ship owned. Technically speaking, it says owned. <laughs> uh, largest ship owned, 359. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Um, ship builder credits spent, ships sold, ships painted, ship modules built. Missions. Now look, here's the thing, crime. <laughs> Murders, trespasses, nine, number of times arrested. Don't worry about it. The cops are aware. <laughs> um, how do I open the... Not that. Not that. 
Aha! Travel to Crete. Yeah, that's a check. Right, okay, so I go here. I go to... Travel between the stars. Zoom out to see the entire star system. Zoom out again to see all the stars in the settled systems. Plot a course by selecting the star system you want to travel to. Your ship can only jump so many light years at once, so distant star systems may require you to jump to a closer star first. Okay. So this is where we were. And... Show me? Oh, show me. I see. This is us. How do I uh, zoom out? What? Fast travel is currently unavailable to this location. That's not what I was asking. I don't want to land there. How do I... You're welcome. Back to system. No, scroll wheel doesn't do it. So we have uh, hostile activity identified here. Back to galaxy. Look! <gasps> Sol! That's where we are! Alpha Centauri. We have so many places. Okay. The little plant icons? So, we have a star station here. Grimsey. Another star station. This is Dipala. Sumati. Andra Andrafon. Mira. Magra. Hyperia. There's Crete. Um, and Kruth. Okay. Let's go right now. We are right next to this, so... Do we go? Hey, Reaper Jamie! Early access is at, uh, 8pm Eastern, uh, 1am BST. I have early, early access? <coughs> Jaffa, Crete! I mean... Crete Research Lab. Yeah, sure, why not? Set course. Travel. Off we go. Crete! We have arrived in orbit. Hello. The abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. Okay. All right, do I have to do this from here? The planet view of the star map gives you information about the environment, lets you scan the planet for resources and helps you discover key landing sites. Rotate the planet until the Crete Research Lab map icon is in view and then select the map icon to land there. It's right there. Yeah, there we go, land. The cell system is littered with abandoned outpost spaces and research stations. Most of them military leftovers from the two great galactic wars. Is he gonna be my little buddy? Is he gonna be my little pal? I think he might be my little pal. Get up. Oh, I have told. It's me! Okay, I really like my character, I have to say. Right, so yeah, you can walk around your ship. I just don't know if you can while you're actually, like, you know, flying. Maybe if you're not the one actually piloting. <laughs> Hi, McDuff! <laughs> a mug! Is it just me or is it just serendipitous that McDuff shows up as there's a coffee mug visible on the screen? Oh, I don't need to ever do that. Do you think so, Hayes? I don't feel like it looks particularly great. Some of the planets, maybe, but... Research facility is in this direction. Thanks, Dr. Sparkman. I'm sorry, Vasco. Were you talking to me? I was looking at a weird little guy. You can mark that off. It is, in fact, a single player game. Hi. Captain, Protocol Indigo dictates that I am to return <laughs> to the lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. <laughs> are they alien Roombas? Um. Oh yeah, maybe, Obsidian. I wonder what it is. Maybe you have to hold E to get out, because I did press it, I didn't hold it last time. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, why is the Crimson Fleet after Barrett? 
I have often asked Barrett that same question at various times and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. Provasco. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him, typically by continuing to live, usually after escaping from certain death, and often with an object multiple people <laughs> wanted. Just who are you and Barrett? Constellation is an explorer's society founded over 50 years ago with the mission of seeking out the unknown. Members often engage in expeditions in small groups, typically one or two people, or like Barrett and myself, one person and one robot. Pasco, the make sure she gets my ship home in one piece. limited and small. Should you join Constellation yourself, Only the you will be the 10th active member. Only the 10th. I'll have her exterminate all pirate threats to protect the ship. Nothing could go wrong. Barrett Why is Barrett trusting me the ship? Billions of years ago, we were you all one with the cosmos. So technically, you have known each other forever. But the more practical answer is likely that he needs you. The number of known people who have been affected by the artifacts is now Two, without okay. your investment in Constellation's mission, he may never know more about the experience you both share. So he is showing you trust in order to gain your support. <laughs> There's a lot of 10th members about to join. How do you insult them by continuing to live? We're on number 10. I Wait, am I can trade? You have <gasps> given up on carrying everything yourself. I could give him stuff. How do I switch to my to my inventory? There we go. I could give him stuff to carry. He swore to carry my burdens. Here, you can have the. Oh, that actually looks really cool. Not gonna lie, that looks super cool. Never mind. I would like to equip that. Um, what else? Oh, inventory. That's what I meant to do. Here we go. You can have all of these cutters that I'm never going to use. Um, and, um, I'm going to keep that. I don't think I'm going to need an axe, but you never know. I'm carrying 59 out of 135. I'm feeling okay about that. Lydia's not aged well. They just uploaded her. <laughs> I don't think that counts as an Elder Scrolls reference yet. Only if he says he's sworn to carry my burdens. All right. I think we're good. Let's go explore. Let's go explore. Hello! Weird little dudes! I want to scan the little dudes, but I don't think I have the... Are you coming? Vasco, come on. Let's go. Have there been any bugs yet? I'm, I haven't really encountered any. It's been really smooth performance-wise as well. Now, granted, I have a beefy PC. I get that. But um, no bugs so far. Um, unless you count that one of the characters, while well, one of the NPCs was walking in front of me, vibrated slightly. There are literally bugs right there on the ground. I'm sorry. You're right. I just want to wear this because fashion. Vasco is coming. He's just really slow. I mean, that's fair. Performance-wise, it's really good. Smooth as butter. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. I'm sure he won't fight me. He's kind of cool. Look, he looks like he has a skull face. Can we like not fight him? Press F to bring up the scanner. We're gonna go raid the do or raid the dudes. Scan the dudes. Where'd they go? Hello, little guy. Oh, what? It does not. Oh, it's never mind. <laughs> I'm pressing the wrong button. <laughs> Pat him. Scan creatures, minerals, and plants. Each unique item scan progresses your survey data of the planet. Completed survey data can be sold for credits. The scanner mode also unlocks additional features such as building outposts and using social skills like diplomacy and intimidation. It's a trilobite scan. Do I have to scan more than one? I think I have to scan more than one. I require more. A plant! Dust root. What do you mean 13% scanned? Photo mode? 
Yeah, there's a bit of motion blur. I'm going to turn it off. Don't worry. Osric's going to be so happy. Osric's going to be so happy. Let me double check and see if I can turn it off. Uh, display? I guess display. Uh, depth of field is fine. Film gram and gra gram? <laughs> motion blur off! Nobody likes motion blur! There we go, that's better. So can I... How do I... Scan him. Temperament, wary. 25% scanned. I need, think I need to get further away from the previous one I've scanned. Who came up with motion... I know, who, who thought motion blur was a good idea, honestly? <gasps> Silver? Oh, I should have kept one of the cutters, shouldn't I? Yeah, can I have my cutter back? While I am programmed for combat, it is not my primary I'm function. just waiting for him to mess someone up. I am ready to commence a trade. <laughs> Emotional support horseshoe crab. I would like one of these, please. You live up. They live in the house, a house, not an apartment, and your only roommate are cats. That happens to me so much. Soon, McDuff! I'm so sorry. I realize some of you are very, very excited to be playing this game, and I'm sitting here teasing you with it, but I, I couldn't say no to the opportunity. I'm so sorry. Right, can I... So you can favorite them by pressing B. <gasps> oh, this makes so much sense. I want to put my little pistol on one, and I want to put this on two, and I want to put my cutter on three. There we go. Uh... Silver! Let's go! More silver. Friends, it's very possible that um, nothing more will happen today. <laughs> you like being teased? Of course you do. What else can I scan? What's that? Unknown. Oh, well, guess we're going over there. Oh, maybe we're not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I have no idea, Saga. I haven't tried. Yeah, you think you can sell them or break them down? Probably. I'm offended. Look, they contacted me this morning and were like, hey, would you like to play the game like way early? And I was like, yes. Yes, I would. I Yes, I would. I cannot contain my excitement. I'm going to climb a hill. What's this? I don't think it's anything I can actually scan. What's that? Oh, it's just a really big dust street. I think I might need to get closer to scan that one. Can the cutter be used on the horseshoe crab? I am not trying that. Do I have to be close? I do. Oh, check this out though. Can I? Can I harvest this? Oh, nope. Okay, can't shoot the, the random plant thing. Wait, but I can harvest it. I got fiber root. What's this? It's iron. Ooh, that's cool. Mine. Excellent, Macduff. There is a channel. Let me know if there's any problems with it. It was a space strawberry. Instead of mining one little thing at a time, why not tow the whole planet back with you? I mean, we could. I'm going to get lost. I just... I just know it. This is just my life now. You're staying up for a stream? I'm going to be up for ages. You are all very welcome to hang out in Starfield voice chat in Discord if you just want to have company while you're playing, by the way. Or while you watch the stream or whatever. Um, I don't know yet. I don't appear to... It appears to... It appears to recharge automatically. We will be here forever. Maddox, thank you for the reason, puppy 40 ones. You thought the game was being encoded really poorly. Wait, what happened? Yeah, it looks like it auto regens. Turns out Twitch set the stream to 360 feet. Was I like Minecraft? <laughs> Mod number one, a mini map. Yeah, maybe we can get a mini map. I do have a watch. Maybe the watch does something. scan more 
of this. Source, fiber. Yeah, let's pick one of these. Eh. I don't know what Bethesda has against mini -mo They really don't seem to like them, hey? I was like, space travel and no man's sky. Oh no. Does it look better now? Long stream works for you just fine. Hell yeah. I'm so excited. I'm really excited to be sharing this with you all. So I'm curious about sprinting. Sprinting does appear to be what was causing that issue where I was running over the hill and nearly died. So let's find out if that happens again. Watch my oxygen meter in the bottom left. Once it drops to zero, I think, I'm gonna run past that. I think, yeah, okay, that's what it was. So everyone was asking what caused that. It's, I was sprinting and my oxygen ran out. <laughs> and this, Sander, is exactly why, where's XLG? We run 936p instead of 1080p. Because if we were on 1080p, it would probably be a pixelated mess. You think the in-game music's a bit too loud? How does everybody feel about that? Do you want to turn it down a little bit? Hello! Can I? Oh, I already scanned this little guy. Whoa! Extreme heat gas vent. Ouch. I'm okay. Can he be our new pet? I think he should be. I feel like the music doesn't sound that loud to me. The game sounds loud to me. And I'm happy to turn that down a little bit. Ooh, biomes, volcanic, genetics, double helix, carbon based. Interesting. I think this counts as forgot about quest. I mean, yeah, probably. Sounds fine. Okay. 88% scanned. I will not get used to the fact that I can't just harvest the thing by looking at the weird space strawberry, but okay. Features that sprinting isn't sustainable despite what IT project managers would have you believe. Back up, see you soon. Good luck with your meeting. Um, I just want to finish scanning this dust root thing. Also. Yeah, I'm gonna be streaming for as long as I can. I got snacks, I meal prepped. Get more agile. <laughs> um, I was gonna order a burger, but I might have accidentally laughed too long. T, how do you feel about the cheapo burgers? Since I think we might have laughed too long for the other ones. 100% scanned. Reproduction self-cloning. Neat. Uh, no, it's because it. what uh, Brother Sabathia said, Zitwar, if you uh, stream on 1080p, you're technically your max bit rate on Twitch is not enough to uh, accommodate 1080p 60 FPS. You ordered pizza? I'm a cheapo boy, so cheapo burgers track. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> Sip, I'll take some water. Yeah, 936, there's uh, something about being cleanly divisible by eight, so there's no wasted pixels or something. Robbie, thank you for the biddies. I appreciate it. Yes, for using 60 FPS. It's not really a big problem if you're streaming a game that's not like highly detailed or super fast. What is Invisible Dave? You will know it if you if we encounter it. Do you remember the time that I flew over somebody in Elite and they were invisible and I got a bounty for murder, but he didn't exist? What faction are you? I took Free Star Collective as my starting option. Also, hi Gandalf, how are you? No, there there shouldn't be. Like Stellaris would probably be fine, generally speaking. It's just things like like sprinting here. Um, the Twitch encoder usually struggles with. It particularly struggles if you're doing 1080p uh, 60 FPS. A really great example was Near Automata. A great game but the Twitch encoder really struggled with like grassy areas and stuff while I was sprinting around. I should really do this, the quest instead of this, but there's just something really delightful about this. I don't know how to explain it. 
I can jump very high, so I'm assuming gravity on this planet is relatively low because I feel like there's no way I could jump this high. Dopamine. Have I scanned this one? Biome complete. Okay. I need to find another one of those. I really want to scan this guy, but I think he's going to kick my ass. Three favorite things about the game so far. I can collect breads. You can shoot the animals. I am not going to, but you can. I'm probably going to have to shoot this one. You got those muscle mommy hops. Um, I would say... Is that a statue? The music. The fact that it is so performant. I think I'm going to have to mess this thing up. I don't think a pistol is going to cut it. Hi. Uh, are we are we good? Are we okay? Can I? Are we good? I will resist you. Oh. <laughs> Vasco just messed it up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fiber tissue. Can I scan it when it's dead? I can. Uh. Oh, I already did apparently. Killing it counted. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. He does kind of look like he has like a weird skull. <gasps> Hi. So, uh, I, look, I was willing to get really close to him, but he just said no. It does seem like kill equals auto scan. Because that said 13% scanned. Unless... Did the little crabs also say... He dacked it. Right, are we gonna... Are we going here? I... Hang on a second. Deal with the crimson fleet. He literally wants me to go in here and mess up some pirates. Crab was 25%. Okay. Are there any on the outside? I should quick save. There's anxiety. Sounds like a good first mission. Just a casually killing a uh, captain. You know. I do have bullets. Create research lab. Do you know what else I have? Half health. <laughs> do I have any healy things? I have a bitten sandwich. <laughs> A container of cereal. <laughs> Immobilizer! I think I could probably make um, alien jerky. Maybe he wants me to talk to them. Uh, meal pack chicken restores four health. None of these give me a lot of stuff. I have eight med packs. Is that right? Or is it it's assigned to eight? No, okay. Okay. All right. Maybe they'll talk to me. True. Freaking alien DNA. Confederation of smaller independent pirate crews, all flying under the same banner. Uh -huh. They are typically unscrupulous and violent. Okay. Well, I'm a scoundrel, so it's fine. What's the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen? Okay. Nothing here. What do we have? I just want to loot stuff. An impact driver. I'll take it. Looks like our base now, comrade. <laughs> no scruples. No scruples allowed. I should mine all this, but I also feel like they're going to hear me and I should probably actually make some effort to... Well, this is... Gloomy. Anything in here? Warning! Biohazard area! Oh yeah, no, I'm not concerned at all. Thanks for crowding me, Vasco. Super rude. What does this do? Probably shouldn't close the door. T. <laughs> Wait, I have a thing for that. Level. 
They left the front door open. I'm sure there's no like, you know, oh, hang on. We should actually see where we're going. Imagine having a functional flashlight. Couldn't be me. Heel paste. I am stealing the succulent that is going on my ship. Tape measure, a bowl, some other stuff. No, oh, yeah, I will do it more. <laughs> nah, it'll be fine. Hey, Darkwing, how are you? Let's go. Beep. I'm turning off my torch because, you know. Reminder, run. Well, that doesn't sound friendly. Oh, a desktop sand garden? That's going on my ship. Bad people, bad jokes. Hey, look, it's tea. Why did the chicken cross the road? Huh? What's a chicken? <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Planet. Planet who? If I throw a party, will you help me? <laughs> oh my god, they're so bad. They're not even good bad jokes. They're just wrong. <laughs> Ecliptic mercenary says to a woman, I've been hired to kill you and I always get the job done. Woman says, can't we talk about this, son? How do you keep an idiot in suspense? How do you get a free star collective hick out of a tree? Wave. What? Is it because they wave back? Is that the point? Louis Lopper's Bad People, Bad Jokes, Volume 2 is the follow-up to his original work and just like its predecessor has become a cult hit. <laughs> this is like some of my best material. It's the knock knock who's there, planet, planet who. If I throw a party, will you help me, planet? Brody sent me a video of Ben Starr um, auditioning to be uh, the silent protagonist of Starfield. And I'm sorry, it was the, wow, what a planet for me. <laughs> what a planet. <laughs> That's it. They are called planets now. Why do you keep an idiot in suspense though? I need to know. Oh, <gasps> Starlocked board game. Solar Frontiers game. A notepad. I don't, look, I'm literally stealing. Can I steal the pens? No, I can't. I can steal the pencil case though. <laughs> yes. Curious. These are uh -huh. United Colonies markings, but we are in Free Star Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility. All free decor. An Alien Frontiers board game reference? That counts as a sci-fi reference as far as I'm concerned. What did I... Ooh, fridge top. Open. I don't know what these are, but they're mine now. Okay. Mild bug. Is it just me? Or when you look at something, do you pick up something slightly to the right? But not everybody was here for that. Oh, <gasps> pretty! It's a screwdriver. I also noticed when I was shooting with my pistol, I'm not going to say I'm the best aim in the world, but when I shot my pistol, it did seem that I was shooting slightly to one side, consistently, the same side. <laughs> so I wonder if there's something a little bit off about it. <laughs> an Erlenmeyer flask. That was an episode X one. Why did you steal Stig's screwdriver? Ooh, gold pyramid sculpture. I will take it. The gravity paradigm. Truth is, what our scientists didn't know back then could fill volumes. The focus, of course, was on wormholes and not only creating, but maintaining a stable and sustainable Einstein Rosen... Einstein? Einstein Rosen bridge. That was the goal, the end point. No one had even considered that maybe that was just the beginning. Look, Rosa, I might need them. When we look at grab drive technology today and the ease at which we fold space and travel light years and seconds, it's sometimes easy to forget the impossibility of what we've achieved. Dr. Josephine Inatu's seminal work continues for another 535 pages and has become the most highly respected text on grab drives and grab jumping ever written. That's rookie numbers. My smut's at least 650 pages. Just saying. For the alien DNA. Following is the opening of Camille Flammarion's 1894 work, Omega, The Last Days of the World, in which a comet is set to collide with the Earth in the 25th century, and people must come to terms with the end of the world and what that actually means. This <laughs> is by gravity, not friction. I made a sliders re reference earlier, and now we're talking about Einstein Rosen bridges. Maybe pages are bigger in the future. Omega, The Last Days of the World, Chapter 1. The magnificent marble bridge which unites the Rue de Rennes with the Rue de Louvre, which 
and which, lined with the statues of celebrated scientists and philosophers, emphasizes the monumental avenue leading to the new portico of the Institute, was absolutely black with pe black with people. Uh, have, ha having? <laughs> I can't read! Starfield has made me forget how to read. A heavy... He oh my god! A heaving crowd! A heaving crowd surged. A having cried <laughs> <Yes, so. laughs> rather than walked along the keys, flowing out from every street and pressing forward toward the portico long before invaded by a tumultuous throng. Never in that barbarous age preceding the constitution of the United States of Europe. When, when might was greater than right, when military despotism ruled the world and foolish humanity quivered in the relent relentless grasp of war, never before in the stormy period of a great revolution or in those feverish days which accompanied a declaration of war had the approaches of the House of the People's Representatives or the Place de, Con de la Concorde presented such a spectacle. It was no longer the case of a band of fanatics rallied about a flag, marching to some conquest of the sword and followed by a throng of the curious and the idle, eager to see what would happen, but of the entire population. Anxious, agitated, terrified, composed of every class of society without distinction, hanging upon the decision of an oracle, opens Google Translate, waiting feverishly the result of the calculations, not the calculations, which a celebrated astronomer was to announce that very Monday at three o'clock in the session of the Academy of Sciences amid the flux of politics and society the Institute survived, maintaining still in Europe its supremacy in science, literature, and art. The center of civilization, however, had moved westward, and the focus of progress shone on the shores of Lake Michigan in North America. Cube! Thermos! Hello, what's this? Tissues! A hammer! I'm just gonna loot literally. I feel like I should be able to open this box. Notebook. Empty chunks packaging. I don't, okay. I don't think I should be picking up empty chunks packaging. That doesn't sound like a, a good use of my... Oh, okay. It's telling me I can close it. I was like, what? There's nothing in there. What do you mean? Paper, snow, a crust. <laughs> Vasco, stop scaring me like that. We need our chunks full and in stock. I could steal a broom. There are many footprints on this. They did not do a good job of cleaning this place. <laughs> What in the f- <laughs> Vasco! <laughs> that is indeed a jump scare. <laughs> uh, can I scan it? Without it killing me? Do I have to kill it? Let's find out. Nutrient tissue. It does not seem to be scannable. Huh. Transfer? What do you mean transfer? Oh, I can open it up. Came through the butthole. Toxin. Yep, that checks out. Toxic streamer. Did you miss any bingo checks? Uh, jump scare. <laughs> if you have jump scare. Notepad, a mug. My ship is gonna be just full of stuff. Red Rover, come over. Eat it. <laughs> an excerpt from Lubov Song's novel, Red Rover, come over, an alternate history where an autonomous robotic rovers gain sentience, replicated and colonized Mars before humans could form colonies. Larissa just smiled. The machine continued to blink its lights and emit faint whines as it servos, servos world, world. We are totally gonna to get over cucumbers. Unsure of how to proceed, but machine communication was Larissa's specialty. She flicked the buttons on her universal comm unit. Its LEDs blinked rapidly in response to her movements. It's okay, she signaled through the device. I won't hurt you. Can you make the space your own? Maybe? I don't know. You can build your own. I won't hurt you, but if we've any hope of getting out of this cave, we'll need to work together. Larissa hadn't expected her day to go like this, trapped in a disused mining tunnel under the surface of Mars with a frightened and potentially hostile maintenance robot, but her espionage training had prepared her for similar situations. The machine clicked and beeped in response, I trust you. It wasn't a direct translation. As precise as machine binary language was, there was still a lot of room for misinterpretation when translated to her native tongue. It was close enough. The robot seemed to relax. Its glowing aperture expanded to let more light in as it gazed at her, taking in any information it could glean, gleam from her? Wouldn't it be glean? And then it extended one of its many clamps in her direction. She took hold and with a firm yet gentle tug, 
sorry. Pulled the small robot out from under the rubble. Sounds like a good Friday night. There we go. That's better, isn't it? She asked, clicking out her message on her comm unit. Now, if you can lead me out of this tunnel and back to my dropship, I can call for backup that could help your fellow machines fight back against your oppressors. The robot seemed to nod in understanding and began to wheel its way down the rocky corridor, stopping every so often to let Larissa catch up. Why do I feel like we're going to find, like, a further one of these later and it's going to be like, oh, and then she died. A firm but gentle tug. I am not sure they're even here. This is worth money. Workplace safety is everyone's job. <laughs> a pamphlet hole. I don't need to pick up everything. I don't need to pick up everything. I don't need to pick up everything. My life, chunk by chunk. I was very young, only seven years old, when I realized humans are animals. Smart animals, sure, but still animals. You give us food, we'll eat it. We want it to taste good, and we want it to stop our hunger. Those two things, that's what's most important. After that, sure, some people want their food to be really healthy, as the experts say, and some want it to be pretty, but most people, they just want to cram something into their face. That's when the concept of chunks was born. So begins the 120-page autobiography of Fred Blombart, founder of the Chunks food franchise. If you don't pick it up, nobody else will. Look, I'm just going to steal all the... I can scan this. Oh, no, never mind. I picked it up. <laughs> Soil box. Dirt. I literally stole dirt. Caffeine. I love it. Chemists have all the solutions. Terrible. Atrocious. Uh, if it's worth money, I'm taking it. Where's Sky UI to tell me? Genetic sample bowl, a coffee mug, a succulent. I'm also stealing all the plants. Hi. Yes. That means if I die, you it, it's it's effectively free because I I'm going to die. I didn't die yet. No, if I die, you get that square, which means it is effectively free. It is free, because I'm going to die at least once this stream. T said hurry up and die so I can have bingo. <laughs> is he coming in and trying to cheat a bingo? Yes. He's clearly never played bingo before, so he doesn't understand. <laughs> he was like, what does the free square in the middle mean? And I was like, that it's free. And he was like, oh, then bingo. And I was like, no, I haven't died yet. And he was like, but then it's not free. <laughs> Ooh, I just got some money. That was a credit chip. Notebooks. Med pack. Out of spite, you must survive. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the precipitate. Your care works wonders. Uh huh. Safety first. PPE. Don't touch the animals. Wear safety goggles. Wear lab coat. Wear gloves when necessary. Don't eat at your workstation. Clean up your workspace. I definitely thought that said, don't eat your workstation. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you want to crying to be free because it's truly free. <laughs> Storage. Fire extinguisher, it's worth 105. Hi, Schnubby, how are you? I hear noises. I feel like there's going to be a little alien guy. It's going to come out of the walls again. Where is everybody? I'm supposed to be killing some pirate captain. What happened to him? Oh no. Is he okay? Sushi rolls. Canuck maple cola. But really, are you okay, sir? Oh. <gasps> he said he's cheating at bingo because he gave me snacks. <laughs> That's true, that does kind of cheating at bingo. Snack brick. <laughs> It's just a lot of dehydration. <laughs> Are you okay? History of Xenobiology. The first several chapters of Lars Nielsen's work seems to focus primarily on the digestive systems of alien herbivores. In the dissection of Dr. Lord's latest and find, latest find revealed a creature that was just as she suspected based on its outward appearance and evolution of the microscopic hydrothermal worm. Delicious. But her research also suggested a species that evolved in distinct stages, possibly growing significantly as it did. So the question now remains, which version of the creature did Dr. Lord dissect? And what maximum size could it possibly achieve? I would like a breadstick. <laughs> mouth to mouth. 
You missed out on a trick. You should have provided for snacks during combat to get your not free free square. <laughs> He's not going to be in Starfield too. <laughs> that meme is the thing that I am carrying with me everywhere. I love it so much. Does this kind of... No, I didn't find this on the floor. It counts as I, I, I had something I found on the floor if I find a random item and I eat it. Oh, that dead guy had the skin tone I wanted. <laughs> A subsequent passages deal with Nielsen's fascination with the predatory wildlife of some unnamed world. Notepad, notebook. I am probably going to die in here. Woo! I'm gonna have a weird. Vasco! Personal space. Is that like blood or something on the floor? Like, what's going on there? Y'all okay? What's happening? What happened here? Maybe T find it on the floor? Can you imagine? Look, more buckets! I just flung them across the room. Actually, it should be. It's not obsidian, but we can totally do that for tomorrow. Baby girl, you cannot have a breadstick. <laughs> no, you didn't, D. Don't lie. <laughs> oh, I hear a pirate. Do you know what? That muscle memory to immediately stealth whenever I hear a pirate. Pretty wild. What? Nothing? Protein bar. Vasco! Don't worry, besties. I got my, uh, oops. I got my pumpkin spice latte. Full food spiced worms. You got 19% off, so you ended up buying Starfield. Hell yes! Did you get the thing so you can play today? I got stimulants. A coffee mug! I'm stealing all the mugs as well. Ow! I just hit myself in the face with that! Eat it! No! <laughs> there are pirates in there, and they don't know I'm here. No, wait, maybe they do. Maybe they don't. Sparkling water. Ugh. I would rather dehydrate to death. I didn't eat it though. I picked it up. It doesn't count. I didn't eat it. Who are they fighting? I should probably find out. Hello? Ooh! Oh, were they fighting me? Sir! Jesus Christ! The speed with which this man runs! <laughs> Perfect use of your birthday money. The speed with which Ed Vasco was just like. The enemy has vanished. Yep, the enemy vanished. You're right. Yep. I definitely didn't kill them. <laughs> Wait, there's another person. Must have been the wind. <laughs> Except they didn't say that, so you don't get the bingo card for it. Terra Billy G, thank you for the resub. Happy 18 months. Hmm, cocktail tumblers. And wine glasses. <laughs> Y'all trying to trick me into saying stuff. It is actually on the card. But it has to be if the NPC says, it must have been the wind. <gasps> Mochi! A plant, another plant. Oh, I want this giant plant. I'm so excited. Do you mind if wine glass, Vasco. Vasco needs to learn personal space. He does not understand the concept. A plant. Another plant. I have so many plants on my ship. Bolt cutters. Those could come in handy. A deck of cards. Those are worth money. Playing cards. The eight of hearts. Imagine if I sold the deck of cards, but I didn't have the eight of hearts. <gasps> Boom pop. Drink your dreams. 
Random dead guy. I did kill him, to be fair. I better have mini games. <laughs> Gonna be single handedly responsible for whatever alien virus this lab was researching getting loose. I don't know what you mean. Mmm, worms. How's my inventory space doing? Also, are my weapons like. Are we good? I would have one. Yeah, okay. I'm almost full. You wanna see why? I'm almost full. I have a board game. I have another board game. I have an artifact. I have some bolt cutters. I have two bottles, a bubble level, five cocktail tumblers, six coffee mugs, a crimping tool, two cubes, some cutting pliers, a deck of cards, a desktop sand garden, three digi picks, an Erlenmeyer flask, a fire extinguisher, a foam cup, a folder, a funnel, seven genetic sample balls, five gold rings, gold pyramid sculpture, graduated cylinder, a hammer. This is definitely loot goblin, yeah. 100%. A deviled egg, the same deviled egg. <laughs> Something bad happened here. <laughs> so I keep playing the hottest game of the year. What's she doing? Wayfair shopping. <laughs> I'll take the thermos. I like their plants. Can you carry some of my random Barrett stuff? and the Crimson Fleet have something of a history. Yeah, I got that vibe. They always assume he is a treasure hunter in possession of valuable objects. They are wrong. <laughs> Usually. Somebody did spill strawberry jam. It wasn't me. May I take some things? You may. Oh, bless would be so nice. Okay, you can have some weapons because I don't need them. I don't need a spare pistol. I probably don't need five of these. Uh, confirm. Um, you can have my spare spacesuit. Do I want to wear that? I kind of do. My mining pack. Yeah, you can check. Forgot about the quest already. I got lost. I didn't get lost. Sorry. I got distracted. I have no idea, Asmodeus. Hands robot 50 potted plants. Look, okay. I find a bunch of shit. <laughs> Raw deal. <laughs> um... No. This is gross looking. It's because it's nutrient tissue. Disgusting. You can carry all my iron. And all my fiber root. And all my beryllium. And all my silver. The toxin's purple. It checks out. Basically, I started going in a random direction and then didn't do the quest for like 20 minutes. Hmm. That looks heavy. All right. Can you please carry all of my stuff? What's his carry capacity? Oh, he's good. He's got space. He can carry all my plants. Where are my plants? Where are my succulents? How many do I have? Oh, am I in all? Oops. Two soil boxes. Um, tread. Two succulents. Eight succulents. Another succulent. Another seven succulents. Another succulent. <laughs> many tissues. Some wine glasses, um, a sculpture. What else weighs a lot? Can I organize by, sort by mass? He has not said sworn to carry burdens. You can have a fire extinguisher and some bolt cutters and a statue and a hydraulic clamp and some impact drivers. And my board games and my hammer. Okay, I'm good now. Thank you. <laughs> no, they were in this weird lab. Living. No, he's not. 
I can assure you he is not. What is going on here? Nothing is beyond our reach when we work together. Oh no. Cringe. Wait. Yes, thank you. The what? Excuse me? The what? Oh, they're watching a movie. <laughs> Are they watching a movie? Or... Oh, no, never mind. It actually happened. It actually happened. <gasps> Stop watching this guy die. Weirdos? <gasps> Eggmund desk assistant. Always need a pencil. I already have a pencil case, though. Another sculpture. That's a cool looking poster. Ooh, the comet. Frankenstein? It's actual Frankenstein to Mrs. Seville, England, St. Petersburg, December 11th, 17. You will rejoice to hear that no disaster has accomplished the commencement of an enterprise which you have regarded with such evil forebodings. I arrived here yesterday and my first task is to assure my dear sister of my welfare and increasing confidence in the success of my undertaking. Amazing. Terror more fear ship and then died surprised. <laughs> Carrie of the Cosmos tells the story of Carrie, an overweight, lovable, and unassuming young girl who unexpectedly gained cosmic powers and used them to defend the weak and underprivileged. The following is an excerpt from that work. Oh, really? asked Carrie as she removed the terry, terry cloth? What's terry cloth? Tie from around her waist. Her bathrobe came open, revealing the unicorn pajamas beneath. Just then, the tie transformed into Carrie's signature weapon. A mighty, a mighty spear called the Unicorn's Horn. Okay. I haven't read Carrie. Or watched Carrie. Does this sound familiar? Then maybe you should pick on someone your own size. Me, Carrie, hurled the spear at the robber. After all, it was incredibly rude of him to try and trip and try and rip off her favorite terror brew when she was grabbing a latte and pinned the unlucky larcenous Letch's shirt to the wall. Well, as I said, Carrie, security in New Atlantis just ain't what it used to be. And the comet. Imagine getting an email saying you could pick up your pre-order 30 minutes after the shop closed. Oh, no. Ah, notebooks that will never actually get used. Okay, so like toil material. Okay. While Webb Dubois is famous as a writer civil rights activist and sociologist among other things it is not widely known that he also penned a science fiction short story the following is an excerpt from the comet written in 1920 low on the horizon lay a long white star mystic wonderful and from it fled upwards to the pole like some one bridal veil a pale wide wide sheet of flame that lighted all the world and dimmed the stars in fascinated silence the man gazed at the heavens and dropped his rockets to the floor <laughs> Sorry. Memories of memories stirred to life in the dead recesses of his mind. The shackles seemed to rattle and fall from his soul. Up from the crass and crushing and cringing of his cast leaped the lone majesty of kings long dead. He arose within the shadows tall, straight and stern, with power in his eyes and ghostly scepters hovering to his grasp. That's frustrating, though. A whiskey glass. Right, where are these? Oh, hello. Oh, cute. Use the computer. Starware operating system. New beginnings. Hayden Wynn personal journal. January 13th, 2306. I can't believe it. I got the posting. The United Colonies Xeno Warfare Division is now official. I can't even imagine the amount of red tape they had to cut through at mast, but it's long overdue. And I get to be a part of it from the ground up. Technically, I already did sing along to the main theme, Mana. <gasps> no, I really want it. Raid Stars Matter. I mine arrives tomorrow. Library at the uni I work at is named after W.B. Dubois, but a lot of libraries in the U.S. are named after him. Really? Uh, my official title will be Associate Xenobiology Technician, and I ship out in three days. Amanda's upset, but I assured her I'll have plenty of leave and will be back in New Atlantis all the time. I'm still not sure where I'm going. Definitely somewhere in United Colony space. Guess I'll find out when I get there. Uh-oh. Not the Xeno Warfare Division. Candidate 1. 
Uh, we got our first extraterrestrial candidate today. What appeared to be a, an alien form of like, like blah, 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 blah. essentially a giant spider. Great. Mickelson, in full protective gear, attempted to attach the neural control interface. Our security detail is still trying to remove him from the cocoon, and we had no choice but to put down the creature. A minor setback. None of us expected success on the first try. I heard Dr. Paulson tell the others that a detachment of United Colonies Marines is scheduled to deliver another creature next Thursday. So, part of me thinks we should count that as an Elder Scrolls reference. Because of the dude who got cocooned and was hung between the doorway. Ashta specimen. I'm not sure how they managed it, but the UC Marines actually managed to bring us an Ashta. It's not that the Ashta is a terrifying beast and natural predator. Those are both exceptional and wonderful qualities and essential to the work we're doing here. It's that the Ashta is native to the planet Aquila in the Che... che how do you say that? Cheyenne? I feel like I should know that. Oh, great. They're trying to weaponize alien animals. Giant spiders, of all things. Cheyenne. Cheyenne? 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 Is that right? Imagine it without me chewing something. <laughs> I'm trying to get the inbox zero. Yes. Aquila, home to Aquila City, capital of the Freestar Collective. Leave it to a group of ground pounders to grab a candidate right from the enemy's backyard. Though it does beg the question, have Freestar Collective scientists managed to weaponize their greatest natural predator? If so, our timetable just got accelerated. Can I? There we go. Trial failure. Any fears that our Freestar Collective counterparts have managed to weaponize the Ashta have been completely dispelled. After the Mickelson debacle, we determined the NCI should only be attached under full sedation, so that wasn't an issue. The problem started immediately afterward. The Ashta proved incredibly resilient to synchronization, and we never achieved control fidelity beyond 47%. Dr. Chin's arm was nearly ripped off. Sorry, I have a cat hair on my lip. Five minutes into the first trial. In short, the Ashta simply can't be controlled. If not by us, then certainly not by the Freestar Collective. Dr. Paulson has been in touch with Colonel Kasarov. Looks like the Marines will have another species collected and dropped off by this time next week. Hot hell. Please. Shy Anne Mountain. Okay, fair. <laughs> I like the mountain. Is cat hair on lip? No, there's cat activity. More disappointment. Another creature, another failure. Wow, I'm right here. No fault of the UC grind pounders. We wanted a predator and they delivered. These things are so alien, Paulson had a difficult time deciding on a designation. Opted for Repton's Venenum. Shame we couldn't properly sink the NCI. These things would have been spe 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 spectacular. Especially the poison. New specimens. Marines dropped another few specimens off this morning. Totally unscheduled. Best way to describe them, they're arthropods. The alien equivalent of Homerus gammarus. Basically giant space lobsters. Very promising giant space lobsters. I'm not entirely sure where the UC grunts find these particular test subjects. Some godforsaken backwater rock, I imagine. After the third or fourth unsuccessful trial, I stopped asking. None of those earlier species could be controlled with any reliability. As noted in my earlier logs, their natural aggressiveness made them effective weapons, but a bullet is less than useless if the gun keeps turning itself on the shooter. This is such a bad idea. But these new creatures possess the, a perfect natural disposition, non-aggressive, even docile, yet capable of defending themselves with deadly efficiency when threatened. And when they do go on the attack, they're terrifying, so we'll see. Okay. Relocation. We're moving. Packing up. Packing up shop and transitioning the entire operation. It's happened so fast, my head is spinning. The work on the arthropods has been so successful, we're actually relocating to their home world. We'll have an unlimited supply of creatures for the Xeno Warfare Division. I've been named Senior Xenobiologist. That means I'll be running the entire facility. My first instinct was to tell Amanda. Now, we heard him screaming. We heard him screaming. Um, I'm still not used to be not being here. I'll give Michael some credit. The guy really went to bat for me. He let the masked brass know that it was my work tuning the neural control interface that was instrumental in controlling the arthropod. I guess Paulson is being forced to retire. Good riddance. Okay. So, stuff happened. Jesus Christ, I forgot you were here. <laughs> I think so. Oh, a dumbbell. I'll just carry it. Why not? 
Um, cool. We have a pr prosthetics poster. Another Solar Frontiers game. What's this? Don't know. Look, the fact that I walked in and it literally said, um, remember, run on the flipping door. Hey, look, another playing card. Uh, to the future. Days in... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Hi, Matori, how are you? I want to see New Atlantis one day. Many days in space. Oh. Whoops. I got stuck on it. Ooh, hello. Crash, what are you doing? Crash is attacking his blanket. <laughs> okay. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. I have to say, it's very pretty. Pet the kittens. Okay. You do that. I'm doing very good, Matori. Thank you. Did we forget what we were doing? Um, we forgot the main quest. But I know I'm here to kill that guy. I can read secret chat. You have no power here. Meeting at 6.45. Coffee! So at what point is it okay in a long stream to have coffee? Ooh, a safe. Unlock. Ooh, cool. Fill in all open slots in every layer to open the lock. Select a key and rotate it until it lines up with the gaps in the security layer. Slot the key in to fill the gaps. Each key can only be used once. I don't understand. I'm just a girl. I don't understand. I'm just a girl. What do you mean? Oh, I think I get it. Like that, right? No. That's not what that means, is it? How does this... Can I... Huh? What? Did you bingo? You posted in Discord, you go. <laughs> Hey, thank you for the biddies. I'm confused. Oh, can I switch these? Oh. Oh. I mean, that's not going to do anything. Nor is that. Hold on. I, I lost a digi pick. So I think I'm going to need that one for... A different one. Is that what it's trying to tell me? Yes. That's what it means. Right? Oh no, have I fucked this up? I think I fucked this up. No, I haven't. Yay! <clears throat> you read that wrong for a second? Do, 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 do. I don't remember what traits I chose. I'll show you in a second. Um, I chose the scoundrel background. <clears throat> Esports. I will take all of that, please. Take all. Level two! A digi pick. Excellent. Another board game. That is way better than uh, Skyrim lockpicking. So I took, can I see myself? Oh, hello. I took Space Scoundrel. I took Wanted, Free Star Collective and Alien DNA. That's what I took. Oh, dark. <laughs> you receive one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill also unlocks a challenge. Complete the challenge and then spend a skill point to rank up the skill. The top row represents basic skills. The rows below are locked until you have spent a minimum number of skill points in that category. If you got a bingo, you could try and fill your whole card if you wanted. Or you could restart. But if you restart, you can't take from your previous card. Shut up, Raven. How dare you? All right, pistol certification. So, it gives me pistols do more damage. What's ballistics? 
Okay, let's just ballistic weapons do 10% more damage. I should probably take that so that I can use normal rifles because there's a rifle certification here. So I basically can't get this until I get three more points in combat. So I think I will take this. Centuries of conflict have proven that when it comes to threat and elimination, few things stack up to the reliable power of high-speed projectiles. You win a forehead kiss if you would like one, and if you would not like a forehead kiss, you get a cookie. You can have both. Or neither. No, if you want neither. I'm going to have to ask what you have against cookies. Right, so I want rank one. You would like both? You got it. Um, so I have to kill 20 enemies with a ballistic weapon, and I have to kill 20 enemies with a pistol, so... That sounds good. You no longer allow cookies? What about if we make them special? Plum and a tomato. Oh, I really should try throwing the dart. Hold on, let me see. It won't let me pick it up. No! Ooh, literally unplayable. Oh, I just threw that in the bin. Yeah, okay, I can't pick it up and throw it. $645. What? On what planet? On what planet? Right, where are these people that are watching this guy die? Did I loot this room already? I don't remember where I've been. Ooh, coffee. I have definitely not looted this room. There's a coffee mug in here. And a succulent. And a board game. And a Newton's Cradle. I'm just gonna loot. Do I need the whiskey glasses? No. Am I going to pick them up anyway? Yes. A multi-pack of stuff. It runs really good. <laughs> like, I, it's so smooth. <laughs> now, granted, I can only speak for my PC. I realize that my PC, I have a 3080 and um, my CPU is a 5950X. It's running on an M2 drive. I realize not everyone's going to be in that position, but it feels good. Hmm. Ammunition. Ooh, hello. The heck is this? I'll take it. Another pistol. Your turn to do the dishes, dumbass. Thanks. Another succulent. They have a lot of plants in here. I thought that was a banana. It's a plate. <gasps> Can I not open that? Hmm. Seems so. You can literally, <laughs> even that bowl you can steal from anyone. I tried to put a bucket on someone's head. Let me tell you, the bucket was too small for uh, if they're wearing a helmet. <laughs> Choose your chunks. There is a weight limit. I have already almost reached it multiple times. I oh, can't open that. I should probably quick save to be honest. Chunks cake. All right. Do you think they'll notice if I turn off my torch? Do you think maybe they won't see me? Wait. Must be the wind. Must be the wind. Must be the wind. <clears throat> uh oh. I kill. Registered. <laughs> Vasco! Vasco, I thought you said you would help me with combat. Rescue axe. Ooh! I am picking up signs of life in the area. Are you? Vasco, do you think maybe you could make them not life? Why can I not get past you? Steal their chunks. Oh, he's right there. Vasco! Where are they? Where'd they go? Aren't they right here? Aren't they right here? It is a shame exploration requires so much I bloodshed. Love, I love him. They jumped up, did they? 
There's three enemies up there. Enemy activity detected at close range. Pistol feels a bit. I am no longer detecting enemy activity. There's two the more. I can see them on my little my little thing in the bottom. But I'm gonna loot while I'm at it. <gasps> a microscope. I stole a whole microscope. Yeah, they really did jump up. Are you okay? You think he's okay? What the heck is that? All right, do you know what? We we gotta deal with these. Can I jump that high? Nope, I cannot jump that high. How'd they jump that high? Why did you get up there? That seems like cheating. Don't eat that. <laughs> There's a staircase here. There's a leg sticking up. Hello. Thank you. A modified maelstrom. Built different. Probably true. Thank you for that, Vasco. They were gonna run at me with that freaking axe out. All right, I think we killed everybody. Excellent. Painfully obvious, literally, right? I, I would like to check out everything downstairs. Do we think we can do that without being disturbed? That would be nice. The deep statements are distracting. They provide a service, it's true. Why? What happened to these scientists? Like, truly. Also, ew. Well, that doesn't look good. Can I scan? Can I scan the body and find out what happened to it? No. The bubbling noises are not good. A marker! <gasps> oh, that doesn't look good either. Can't wait to play this when you get home from work. I'm excited for you. I will say, I feel a little bad having access to it already. But also not that bad because I'm having a good time. <laughs> a hazmat suit. Ooh. Did Vasco unalive them? I don't think so. Is this? Okay. Have I looted everything here? No. I don't need all this stuff. But... Sorry, not sorry. Oh, I'm so glad, Pilfer. Look, I get it. Like, some people don't like spoilers at all, so they don't want to see. That doesn't look good. It does not look good. Looks decidedly bad. I'm not sure how I feel about this guy who's <laughs> been shoved in a fucking bin, but like, okay. <laughs> Intended for a certain audience. It's me. Hi, Patty. You got Game Pass Ultimate new laptop. Hell yeah. Excited for you. That's cool. Shoved in a bin. It's me. Tag yourself. Corey shoved in a bin. <laughs> I'm picking that up because I mean money, right? I wonder how much. I wonder how much money I can actually make from selling stuff. Ooh. That person's arm in the box. That's me. That's a claw mark. You're the bin. <laughs> that was definitely a claw mark. Oh, hey, a computer. Computer. Project Pet Shop. Same guy. Um, my staff and I just arrived this morning and I'm not surprised to find the facility completely operational. As usual, the United Colony spared no expense. It's all very exciting. Inspirational, really, knowing that you have the full support of the decision makers. I have to admit, I was surprised to learn that the lab is a closely guarded secret located in Freestar Collective Space, no less. But we go where the work takes us. Xeno Warfare is the evolution of armed ground conflict. We know it and the Freestar Collective surely knows it as well. Forget what the calendar says. This is 1942 all over again. We may as well be the Manhattan Project, racing to create the game changer before the other side. That's not good though. That doesn't feel good. How much inventory space you got? Not enough for all of the plants I've picked up. Big claw marks on the big tank thingy on its side too. <sighs> That's not good. So to that effect, I'm overjoyed to officially announce Project Pet Shop phase one as a go. 
The arthropods are in a word incredible, calm, easy to work with, and they even allow themselves to be fitted with the NCIs without much trouble. Synchronization has thus far been nearly instantaneous, and their control fidelity has remained in the 95 to 97% range. They've passed all environmental survivability tests as well. Hot, cold, low or no oxygen, I'm pretty sure these things could operate effectively in any environment. Most promising is how well they've already integrated with the Red Devils who've joined us for a period of extended training. After all, they'll be leading the creatures into combat, so it's critical they establish a war bond. No, right? Oh! You have too many plants. I mean, I don't in real life because my cats would just eat them, so this is just me living my best life. I'm, I'm also terrible at looking after plants. Did you say you have double stuffed Oreos? <laughs> Success! After months of testing a variety of extraterrestrial species, I am overjoyed to report that we have finally found a species that will serve as the backbone of the United Colony's Xeno Warfare Division. The arthropods are everything we hoped for and more. Imagine a pack of alien beasts suited to any terrain capable of instantly obeying any command. I have designated these beasts obedient... Uh, what? We just call them stalkers. <laughs> I think it may finally be time to crack open that bottle of Chateau Avignon 2170. The Red Devils. The Red Devils' progress with the stalkers has been nothing less than amazing. Now I see why they're so highly regarded in UC military circles. None of the rah-rah bullshit you see with the regular grunts. These are focused professionals. After another week of training here in the pet shop, I'm confident they'll be ready for a live test in the field. Michelson suggests I contact Colonel Kasarov and find out where his Marines grabbed that spider from the early trials. He wants his comeuppance, but then it would make for a good trial. Okay. Heel paste. Freaking love heel paste. Ooh, cute little pistol. Not really as big a fan of laser pistols. By the way, the reason you see like a weird halo effect is because I have my torch on. It doesn't have to be on, but it is quite dark and gloomy in here, so. Credits. Anything else? All right, we're going up here. Got a lot to loot here. Start over this way and work our way around, I guess. I heard there were some issues with like different things being cancelled. It really sucks. One of my boss will let me out of work for the remainder of the year so I can actually play this Sea of Stars and still find time to read. <laughs> I forgot how to read, Corey. I forgot how to read. Oh. Did I just try to scan a mug? Yes. A pen, a whiskey glass, a succulent. I don't need this many plants. Why am I picking them all up? I just needed one for my ship. I've rescued like a million of them. I thought that pillow was a bread. I sit. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Caffeine. I do love that they have coffee machines and coffee mugs literally everywhere. I wonder if we could put the box on Vasco's head. I don't think we could put anything on Vasco's head. Mending machine. Welcome to chunks. Please choose your chunk. No, oh, thank you. Did you pick? That person has folded. Like one of them razor phones. Utility jacket wear. Does bread make for a good pillow? Oxygen tank. All right. I'm just stealing all their stuff. We have a water machine. A succulent. Running while encumbered will quickly drain your oxygen. Oh! Captain, we should continue. What kind of trickery did you have to do to play Starfield even earlier? So Bethesda contacted me this morning and asked me if I wanted to have a uh, early, ac like a super early access key, which they've given to some content creators and they also gave to like game journalists and stuff. And I was like, yes. Cause like, obviously I pre-ordered the game. I pre-ordered the Constellation Edition. I've been waiting for this game for forever. So when they contacted me, I was like, Yes. <laughs> had I already had plans for stream? The stream was going to start tonight at 11 p.m. BST. We were going to hype for two hours. Then I was going to stream this game from 1 a.m. And then they were like, would you like to stream from 5 p.m.? And I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> no purple hair. Just a little eight-hour shift. What's the bit? What's the difference? <laughs> Here, Vasco, carry me some stuff. My storage hold for further items. There's not a lot, though, Basti. I'm going to be honest with you. There's not a lot. Um, 
my inventory. Here, can you take my desk assistance? Time's a construct. Time's not real. Time can't hurt you. <laughs> I don't really need bottles. But there are 55 gold. All of these. All of these. I am not sorted by mass. Carry my dumbbell. And um, wait, how are you doing? He's doing okay. He's good. He's got this. Levitating desk planet. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take everything I have stolen. Except for these, because they don't weigh anything. <sighs> the truth is, and she said it outright, she simped for the game. I did. <laughs> it's true. They were like, so are you? We were. I was talking to them about a game key, because they were going to give me a normal game key, right? They were like, hey, we have a key for you. And I said, no, you know what? It's okay. I already pre-ordered the game three times. I bought one for myself, one for my partner, and then because my Constellation Edition wasn't going to arrive in time, I bought the Digital Edition again, then realized we only needed two, so I refunded one. So I, either way, I still ended up with two games I bought. So I said, it doesn't matter. I don't need it. It's fine. And they said, oh, wow, you must really, really be excited for this game. And I was like, I am. <laughs> and then I just went on like a massive rant about how I loved Skyrim and I loved all the Elder Scrolls games and... I've been streaming them for like years and I have thousands of hours and I really love them and they're so important blah 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 and then they emailed me this morning they're like hey we have an early access key that would allow you to stream from 5 p.m and I was like <laughs> so let it never be said being passionate about stuff does get you things sometimes <laughs> liar silent <laughs> literally a liar oh this is cool Shame about the jam on the floor, though. Got anything? Nope. A double-double? Oh, sure would be a shame if I ordered a double-double, wouldn't it? I don't need a double-double. Am I... Vasco, please stop trying to climb the chair. Fiber. Aluminium, antro, my uh, antro, antimicrobial, analgesic. I'm gonna be able to craft uh, thingies. Oh, <gasps> potions! You can see what you're gonna be like with this one. Hell yes. Hmm. I loved Morrowind so so much. Okay, bandages. Sealant and fiber. Treats wounds, lacerations, and puncture wounds. Heal paste. Treats burns and frostbite. What about snake oil? <laughs> it treats brain injury? <laughs> Biotics should not take those, you're right. I have a question. Should I move my camera to the other side? Good so far. Going good so far. Maybe I won't make these now. Hi, Angisa! Well, so here's the thing. I can't really tell you if the game is living up to the hype because I was excited for it for very specific reasons. Is it living up to my hype? Yes. Can I say if it's living up to everyone else's hype? Not really, because I think it's a very personal thing. I'm enjoying it very much. <clears throat> Alright. It's exactly what I wanted. Uh oh. I'm on it. No one's getting through. Is that one of them logic jacked? You mean the really expensive ones? looking for pilfer Something's out there. are they looking for perhaps a game 
that isn't this. Oliver Twist. I'm not reading Oliver Twist. I got a fucking quest from that. Visit the London landmark on Earth. Bad people, bad jokes, one. Knock, knock, who's there? Varun, Varun who? Varun, Varun, listen to that engine. An alien spider beast walks into a bar in Aquila City. Bartender asks, what's your poison? Why did the Crimson Fleet pirate go to an enhanced clinic? He wanted more booty. <laughs> knock, knock, who's there? Neon, neon who? You put one knee on the floor to... What? <laughs> oh, Lord, not London. <laughs> Two reviews I read are basically like it takes a dozen hours or so to really get going. Well, yeah, the game is meant to make you take you hundreds of hours. Yeah, like the Pete Hines was at like 150 hours or something. I hadn't finished the story. Not reading Oliver Twist. You're not the space person I space thought you was. <laughs> no, same, Pilferg. Um, You hear the one about the Freestar Ranger who couldn't get into the conference? He forgot his badge. I have found a lot of food so far. I wouldn't say it's more than Skyrim, though. <sighs> Recheck database of known controllable species. Reminder, run daily. Oh, was it supposed to say run daily diagnostics, but it just said run? Maybe this pistol just sucks. Are they up tall? I need to kill more people with my pistol. Are you shooting? Oops. Not worth it! Not worth it. <laughs> Good call, my dude. Good call. <laughs> um. Alright, I'm just gonna... Is he dead? He's not dead. But I hear it is... I mean, it's not pleasant, my dude. Where'd he go? <laughs> Most games don't drop a uh, dragon on you like Skyrim. God, I wish. No, I'm not going to TwitchCon Vegas. It's a bit too expensive for me. What's this? What's it pointing me at? Only you had a jetpack. In your face, sucker. Screwdriver, tape. I'm picking up random stuff and then I realize I'm probably gonna have to start dropping things, but it's fine. Ooh, nice, credits. I will take them. I already looted this bit. I did not, oh, I did loot that. I didn't loot the rest of downstairs though. Oh, I do like this, this is fun. Okay, so technically speaking, that works. But am I going to need that later? I might need that here. No, I can't fit that there. Yes, that I think can only be used here. Is this exactly the same? It is. Does this fit in there? Yes. Okay, so I would say we do that. And then, uh-oh. No, I've messed up. Shit. How did I not see that? Undo. Messed up. Just when I think I understand what I'm doing. Robot can carry all. He can't carry that much. I think the bones are strong. Maybe stronger than Fallout 4 or Skyrim. There's a couple of features I'd like to see, but map stuff and better inventory management. But I think that's going to come very quickly from the mod community, probably. So I thought this was the next one. Is it not? I could do that. And then that. And then that one. Yeah, there we go. I do quite like the lock picking, although I, I think there are times where I think I know what I'm doing and then I don't, you know? Unpredictable. Oh, I didn't mean to pick up the notebook. I just wanted the coffee. I don't need all these coffee cups. A soil bowl? I don't need that either. 
Why do I keep picking everything up? <laughs> All right, here we go. War. We're at war. By establishing the colony of Vesta, the Free Star Collective forced the UC's hand. The unmitigated Gaul, thinking they could establish control over a fourth star system. Such a flagrant violation of the Treaty of Narion. I don't need to pick everything up. What if an NPC out there does? <laughs> <laughs> Our diplomats tried to resolve this peacefully, but the Council of Governors wouldn't listen to reason. Apparently, they claimed that Vasta was not a colony, but rather just an insignificant farming outpost. Nice try. By all accounts, the Red Devils and Stalkers worked in perfect unison, and the results were everything we could have hoped for. No Red Devil or Stalker casualties. Vasta's defenders were apparently taken by complete surprise, which greatly contributed to their fatality rate. 93%. <laughs> As it, right, it really did do me dirty the other day. Not a game for hoarders. This is a great day for the Red Devils, a great day for the United Colonies, and a great day for Xeno Warfare. Note, no, it's not lost to me that this classified facility is actually located within Free Star Collective Space. So goes the great game. <gasps> no, Rosa! Thank you, Cartel. Happy Starfield Day. Phase two is finally time. After a number of successful missions with the Red Devils, the Stalkers have proven to be exactly the weapons we had hoped for. So it's time to expand our operations. Mast has finally approved the next stage of this facility's operations. Project Pet Shop phase two will now commence. Stalkers. We've officially stopped work on the Stalkers. There are enough creatures in the field to serve the Red Devils who haven't been here to train in over a year. If they need more, we can easily gather some from the planet and fit them with NCIs. But this point, from this point on, our focus is phase two. Heat leeches! That's the thing I encountered downstairs that scared me. Throughout the settled systems from civilized worlds to backwater bush towns, pilots have had to deal with the nuisance known commonly as the heat leech. Uh, I had my own unpleasant experience four years ago at the New Atlantis spaceport. My transport was delayed while the deck crew removed a few of those filthy things from the aft thrusters. They're attracted to heat, feed off it through some endothermic process, so thrusters are the perfect place for them to hide. They can take a full afterburner burst with no ill effects. No ill effects from the heat on the heat leeches, that is. A ship with an infestation, that sounds like foreshadowing, can generally expect a 3-5% to 5 drop in thruster efficiency. Working with the heat leeches has been interesting, if not entirely satisfying. We have 11 of them in the lab, and by I've only encountered one. By all accounts, they're completely innocuous, save for their heat siphoning properties, but what if there were a way to weaponize them? Oh, Jesus Christ, this man. Perhaps artificially enhance their heat siphoning to completely and instantly disable a ship, or even better, to somehow reverse the process so that they transfer their own heat into a ship. I'm guessing someone's going to have done that. Someday, today, I fear we lack the means to do either. Initial thoughts? I like it. So, I will say... And I think this is very important. I am speaking from the perspective of someone who really likes Bethesda games. I loved Morrowind. I loved Oblivion. I loved Skyrim. I was, I wouldn't say like Fallout were my favorite, but I really liked them. I was more of an Elder Scrolls person, but I really liked Fallout 2. I played Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. Sorry, Fallout as well. I should have said it at the beginning. Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. I didn't play New Vegas, but that was actually um, Obsidian, right? Wasn't it? Um... So, I like it. It's exactly what I hoped for. Um, my personal expectation was that I was going to effectively play, be playing Skyrim in space. And so far, I would say that's what it feels like I'm doing. Um, I think it's... I think I probably would have heard it's really good, Livic. Um, I think it's fair that people have apparently in reviews said that it starts off a bit slow. But I think games like this do start off a bit slow. And that that's okay, if that makes sense. I need to order a burger. I had all these massive plans for what I was going to eat before stream, and then Bethesda was like, haha, you thought I only have one more of these left, don't I? I should probably not mess this up. So here's the deal. Is it only showing me what the next one is? I've never played New Vegas. Yeah, big games can have a slow start. This one, I think, is the obvious choice for this but either one of these could go like that could go there that could go there that could go no it can't go there technically can that go there no okay so it has to be one of these two there or there however I don't know what the next one is and I'm not sure if I'm misunderstanding how that works Like, why does it say start one slot key? And do I use this one or do I use this one? Freaking good thing I did too. 
elk. I'm enjoying it a lot. And then this one would be here. Yeah. And then there. Woo. 422 credits. Heart. Improves fortitude and pain tolerance and a med pack. You have to do 2 plus 2 and 3 plus 3 on this one. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> Are you going to play today, elk? After work? It's a cool lockpicking mechanism, though I'm not sure I understand how you predict what the next one is. Survival killing or survival response? Consult, consult Mendelheim reminder survival. I have picked up so many random things. The picks have two or three points. Yes. Am I not understanding what you mean? What I'm saying is it shows you one ring and then it shows you the inner ring. But the next one after you solve the first one isn't the inner ring that you saw before. If that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Looks like it removed the points you have pegs for. It. Oh. oh, I thought that was close. You need six in the inner layer. You need three plus three for that one. Gotcha. Okay. I think I know what you mean. Oh, those are cute. I want those. I've just misunderstood how it worked. You are not the first person. Yeah, I just misunderstood how it worked. Empty beer bottles. Me. Not really worth picking up. I don't know if it's any. If there's any point in picking up sealant. What are you grabby handsing at? <laughs> I was really expecting somebody to have died in here. I'll steal another microscope and a levitating desk planet. Planet. Ooh, mmm, snacks. Oh, look, another toxic streamer in a can. It's me. Your butt. Can you blow in it? It will make a sound. Another microscope. Another succulent. How many succulents am I going to come home from this mission with? I don't think this mission is supposed to take as long as it has taken for me because I have been looting everything that's not nailed down. We went in here already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Hello, Osric! I'm enjoying it a lot. Okay, so, Bibimba, I really like the game, but it's very, again, important that I note that I was very excited for it anyway, because I play Bethesda games and I like Bethesda games. Um, giant tub of mayonnaise and mustard. Um, I feel like I have kind of ignored, we are out of half and half, um, other hype and stuff a little bit. What the fuck happened here? Are you okay? Wait, did something just move or was that you, Vasco? I did make some jam. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I'm over encumbered. Vasco! <laughs> it occurred to me that you have undergone considerable physical and emotional trauma since first meeting Barrett. That <laughs> is not uncommon. <laughs> Am I currently in possession of an item you require? No, it's fine. Yeah, I'm over a cucumber. Since long before that. <laughs> All right, what? If, oh, no. He's 121 at 135. What if I gave you... Oops. What if I gave you my microscopes? And my soil? Oh, Vasco cannot carry anymore. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> All right, I got a new helmet. Um. Oh, it's the same helmet. Never mind. No worries, Osric. I have not gone very far. <laughs> like at all. Oh. Uh oh. Right. Hang on. So. Let me.
How did you overburden a robot 20 minutes in? It's been three hours. <laughs> what do you mean? It's been three hours. <laughs> I need to understand this. I, I do need a loot intervention. Do you mean to tell me that I effectively fill in the slot? I.e. If I do that, there are three left. Is that what you're saying? And I just completely misunderstood how this mechanic worked? Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. And that would mean um, that... So if two are gone, I would have three left. And this does not fit those three at all. Does this fit any of those? No. This fits that and would leave me with these two. So in theory, that. Yeah? Is that right? Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. I just completely misunderstood. Okay. Does this spark joy with yes? <laughs> it's true. Can we quote that? It's so true. Does this spark joy? Yes. Psyche, everything cannot spark I'm joy. A safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi picks and a disregard for personal property rights. <laughs> I love Vasco. Packs no holes. You can come in. Ah! What the fuck, dude? You can't do that. <laughs> Boom pop cherry. Jump scare. <laughs> Why does he do that? Also, was he talking about the safe that I already opened? Cause like, dude. Deal with the Crimson Fleet Captain. Optional unlock the safe. Which safe are you talking about? This one. Which one do you mean? Oh, apparently it... this one. It's okay. You're dead. We're all dead. Uh oh. The comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. Sucks to be that guy. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. And more people screaming. noise at the end okay all right i kind of get it now time for me to mess it up though so if i did this one i kind of want it for the inner bit so if i did this one that would leave me with these but what if i did this one i have two of these i have many of these what if i did this one then i have four that doesn't work does it that one feels better and then there's these three that doesn't work either do this one that leaves me these i'm gonna try it am i gonna try it i didn't see the worm hi tribe how are you who names their pet terramorph <laughs> all right see you later bibimba have a good time um i think that doesn't work this will um, that doesn't work. I did this wrong! I fucked it up. Did I quick save? I don't think I quick saved. I did not do math correctly. I'm just a girl. I need another digi pick. Oh, there's digi picks on the floor! <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie! I'm just a girl! I didn't use my eyes. <laughs> sure would be a shame if I used my eyes. Right, okay. So... Yeah. 
There we go. A reactive gauge. Ah! Okay, but you don't hurt me though, right? You just go into the butthole. Cool. Sounds good. Right, we have to go up and deal with this guy, so let's do a quick save. <laughs> yeah, I did put just a girl on the finger sheet, didn't I? <laughs> do you build your own ship? You can. Go away. He's like being really aggressive for no reason. It's quite funny. I should take a break after this because I really need to order some food. Where are we? No point in me trying to be stealthy. It's not working. Not the game giving me... You will not be able to walk at full speed with your pack that full. All right. <laughs> Just go up someone's butthole. Look, you don't know. Uh, What can I have? That sucked. What do I have that's heavy and not worth? What What do I have that's not worth any money? What if I scrolled all the way down and these are not heavy, I don't think. I have a random paper airplane and two notebooks. What if I just drop these? And all the notepads and the marker and the folder and the tissue. No, wait, that's a, that, I need that. I need that. Where'd the icky thing go? There it is. I also need that. Am I good? I don't know. <laughs> you thought it was my ship, I bet. They're important. Is that a onesie? Don't talk to me. <laughs> Happy time zone was Rob. I'm not, I'm not dropping the mugs. You can't make me. Oh, shit. All right, so here's the deal. Oh, I think I was supposed to have a cutscene. Oh, no! Oh, no, I think I was supposed to have a cutscene! <laughs> I'm quick loading. That kind is a save scum. That kind is a save scum. I was supposed to have a cutscene. <laughs> and I just shot him. <laughs> save scum if you've got it on your bounty board. Take it. Captain, protocol indigo. Dick should I just drop? Should I just drop my mugs? I have like how many? I have. I only have three. That's not that many. You could keep one. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Remain strong in your resolve. Then what am I gonna drop? I have to drop something. These are not heavy enough for me to justify dropping them. Hang on. What's really heavy? I don't even know what that is. I'm just a girl. I don't know what that is. Their weight is 0 0.1. Okay, but I don't want them. <laughs> I want everything else. I don't want those. <laughs> drop the stone garden. You don't need relaxation. Have you met me, Shnubby? I probably need relaxation more than anyone in the entire world. I'm taking the succulent and you can't stop me. You have picked up too much matter. Shut and up, Vasco! I don't overhead. need your negativity in my life. <coughs> Wait, does this allow me to carry more stuff? I don't think. Oh, basic boost pack. Yes, please. I have a boost pack. Get wrecked. Right, hang on. How much? Those are worth a lot of money. I should not be dropping those. I should be dropping random crap that I picked up. <sighs> no, see, these are all really light. It's fine. I didn't. I have no idea what you mean, Torn. I have no throwables equipped. Look up that. Uh. Huh. I have many weapons, but I kind of want to keep them. Ooh, an energy. Nah, I don't really want one. How much are you worth? Value. They're worth quite a lot, to be fair. I should just be dropping random shit, but I don't have any random shit to drop. 
I have a thought. Jesus Christ, Vasco! Oh, I am programmed for combat. It is not the way he just shot through the roof. Your watch beeps faster as your suit runs out of protection. Um, okay. Do you know what you can do? You could probably drop. <laughs> he has 11 coffee mugs. <laughs> and then another two, just for good measure. Um, the dumbbell probably doesn't need to be. <laughs> or the fire extinguisher. I don't, I really don't need those. And then I could give him my extra spacesuit and my extra helmet. Vasco can't carry anymore. And I can drop the dumbbell. So long, muscle mommy arc. I'm gonna drop it. All right, dumbbell, drop, drop. I'm keeping the sand garden. Does this spark joy? Everything sparks joy. Right, okay, are we ready? Do I have any books to read? No, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna quick save again. And we're going to find out if we have a cutscene instead of trying to just shoot this person. You gotta be Oopsies. <laughs> the frontier has a new captain. I like your helmet. Working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Oh, Rosa. Is there hotel support? I'm not sure, actually. I'm with Constellation. You need to stop attacking your ship. That's right. I killed Barrett. So tell your pirate friends back off. Attack. Enough talk. Talk. I have places to be. What's your problem with Barrett anyway? We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship. The Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. I'm with Constellation. You need to stop attacking our ship. Now I killed Barrett. Oh, no. You see... We weren't really after Barrett. Not that he was We're gonna listen that to that, ship. but I was hoping maybe I could like Every posture. Crimson Fleet Rook hears about the frontier. That no hotel support. Keeps treasure hidden in the cargo Hopefully base. they do add it. The loot from a hundred planets. That statement is partially correct. Vasco. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of Ant. I'm so glad. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. There's no treasure on my ship. Cut your losses before people get hurt. I don't suppose we could just agree to disagree. No hard feelings. <laughs> no, no, Vasco. You're not talking us out of this score. To persuade a person, you need to make successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance the choice fails, but the more points you'll earn when you succeed. You have a num limited number of choices you can make, but you can never fail if your last choice succeeded. <gasps> Whoa! Okay. You have it wrong. Constellation is an explorer's group. They aren't treasure hunters. Hey, if you want to trade ships, that sounds good to me. The frontier creaks when it turns anyway. I just made it past your entire crew. You really want to try your luck against me? So, are they, is this, I'm guessing they relate to difficulty as well. <sighs> True gaffer, I was given a super early access key by Bethesda. I did also pre-order the game. I have pre-ordered the Constellation Edition, which arrives tomorrow. Um, but they gave some streamers early access and some journalists as well. Um, very lucky me. I'm very grateful. Yeah, I feel like the, the green, yellow, red means that the red is probably much more difficult. And I'm mildly concerned that that will be too hard. So I might try this. Don't give me that. I know that ship is stocked with loot. It's not, though. I stole it all already. <laughs> I know there's a way to get past this. The ship doesn't have anything on it. You're chasing a fairy tale. Hey, if you want to trade ships, that sounds good to me. I feel like this is... This is... Oh. Fuck it. Fuck it. So you got past a few rooks. Who cares? Search me for the mugs. You're chasing a fairy tale. Oh, that... That can't be right. Come, can come aboard the Frontier right now. I see for yourself. There's nothing on it. 
Hey, if you want to trade ships, that sounds good to me. I can tell you'd rather not have the Zen in violence. Vasco's program with advanced combat protocols. He'll, he'll rip you in your crew to pieces. Does he look like that? Oh, anyway. You, you mean that, don't you? You really haven't found anything on board? Nobody wants that. Now you're getting somewhere. I need to get one more. Maybe we can work something hey. out. I can't believe this. There isn't any treasure. We've been trailing that old constellation ship for nothing. Sorry, bud. Get out of here. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again. You're dead. We should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters. Okay. Without Crimson Fleet. What if we shot him anyway? <laughs> so here's the thing. I do feel like it would be worth... Uh, you put an option in front of me, Livic, and I have to try it. Um, I do feel like it'd be worth possibly moving my camera because I realize that a lot of the stuff that pops up is on the left of the screen, and I wonder if maybe I should be on the other side. But I am mildly concerned that I'm also uh, recording at the moment, and it's quite possible this will break everything. But we'll see. Um, one second. Let's see. Does that have everything? I think it has everything. Does it have everything? Yeah. Invert the camera and the game. Oops. This way, yes, I'm inverted. Hi, hello. Um, this way you won't have, you won't miss the stuff where it pops up because it keeps popping up with stuff on this side. Oh no, it's the mirror universe. <laughs> I know how we can show the entire, the entire game. Does anyone know if the early access releases at midnight? It is at uh, 1 a.m. BST. There is a map on their website. Um, it's at 1 a.m. BST. It's at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, five Is that 5 p.m. Pacific? Smash! What are we smashing? Okay. Well, okay. Well, okay. Hear me out. What's Twitch doing? Ooh. What loot do they have? <gasps> they have some nice stuff. I'm pretty sure I already have all of these. They're worth a lot of money though. Did they just... Oh no, here they come. He will make himself explode. His jetpack did explode. <laughs> 2 a.m. in Sweden. That sounds about right. Oh, they're really far away. Can't we talk this out? I think it's just the pistol that sucks. I don't like iron sights. I really need to modify this weapon to have a scope. I did talk it out and then I shot him for his loot. Come on. You know you would just pickpocket him. Sorry, Vasco doesn't have an opinion. He's a robot. He doesn't care. He's like, whatever. Yeah, you, you do you. <laughs> Any other loot that I haven't picked up yet? Because I am quite full of stuff. I love how he was like, yay, they won't chase us anymore. And I was like, I know, I'll murder them. <laughs> uh. I'm 
difficulty impossible. I am not a fan of iron sights at all, ever. Maybe compromising his ethical circuits. Take their ship. Actually, technically speaking, I think I might be able to. But first, guess what? I'm over cucumbered again. Um, I have a bunch of random shit. Oh, cute! <gasps> Fashion! Oh my god, look at her. I love her. I love her. Honestly, considering working tonight and get to enjoy this more tomorrow, do it. A hazmat suit. <laughs> I look how I nap. I look like I, I look like I'm in Power Wash Simulator. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. All right. Oh, that's kind of cute too. Um, what do I have that's heavy? What am I carrying that's so heavy? Like. What am I carrying that's so heavy? The suit is heavy, but it's worth a lot of money. So I am not dropping that. Um, I, my kingdom, Bethesda, my kingdom for a value for wit sort option like Sky UI has. Fits your looting style though. I don't know what you're talking about, Rosa. <laughs> A modified Grendel. Ooh, it's physical damage. Maybe it's nice. What's the Maelstrom? Four physical... Oh, it's worse. But it's fire rate's faster. So I'm guessing it's DPS is higher. I need the cutter. I don't need this many Grendels. Modified Maelstrom is better than this, surely. It has a sight! The way this bitch has been using iron sights and the whole time I've had a flipping sight. Maybe a few succulents. I have no idea what you're talking about. I have... How many do I have to drop? I have to drop... Quite a lot. <gasps> Plus six carry capacity for eight minutes. <laughs> Not a whole eight minutes. Um, maybe I need to talk to... Oh, my inventory. My mugs, though. We need to reach the Alpha Centauri system, Captain. The okay. Planet, uh, do you require assistance with your items? Are there more people coming to shoot me? Because that would be inconvenient. <sighs> okay, but they're... Okay, but... Okay, but hear me out, though. Maybe it took off. They're... They're only 0 0.25 each. And yeah, sure, I have 11 plus 2. I'll keep my mugs. I would like... Oops! Did I just take every item in his inventory? I think I just took every item in his inventory. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep one mug. Okay. These are worth a lot of money as well. I don't want to drop these. Uh, the soil box is worth a lot of money. They're all worth so much money. I, these are not, though. I'll drop the impact drivers. I have so many of them and a hammer. I don't need the hammer. I have so many succulents. They are actually quite heavy, but that's okay. need those or those i'm keeping the screwdrivers i have 16 mugs that's only like a little bit you're gonna have 12 companions are there not mugs on the ship i there are some mugs i'm gonna get rid of these mugs because i like these ones i have so many succulents so many plants and succulents. <laughs> Trev, enjoy your lurk. I look, I don't, <laughs> none of y'all can see my inventory because I was covering it up. <laughs> okay, the regular plants not like, no, I can't, bestie. They're not worth anything. I'm keeping them because they're cute. I don't need a tape measure. See, nothing else here is really all that heavy. The problem is my uh, my armor is very heavy, but I can give him those. Yes, you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Our destination is 
No, the ship left. <laughs> the ship left. Ouchie. I'm okay. This is the worst timeline. This is the worst timeline. Combat. Barrett often yells, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> I am not sure why. We need to reach the Alpha Centauri system. My succulents are safe, fine, Pry Pry. All right. Is it my materials? Is it my resources? Here, store all resources. And store, can I store all misc? No, I can't. Why do I still have a bolt cutter? <laughs> what did that happen? <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Um, you can carry my helmets, as I said, and my spare. Oops, that's the space suit I'm wearing. Can I have that back? <laughs> there we go. And then uh, you can have some weapons. An incendiary rip shank. I'm keeping that. You can carry these. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I've almost, I've almost got enough space in my inventory. Almost. So, so close. Hello, you can have... Sculpt... Oh, Flasco can't carry anymore. Farts! <laughs> Drop all the life support. All you need is succulents. You can place stuff on your ship. I'm just so far away from it. And I'm guessing you can't fast travel when you're over cucumbered. I'm not dropping them. I refuse. I'm not dropping the- Why did I pick up the baseball? It was on my ship. Why did I do this? Why am I like this? I probably don't need a microscope. There we go. I'm good. I should really equip my armor, shouldn't I? <laughs> I'm not wearing a fucking helmet. Okay, I'm fine. How are you playing this early? Uh, Bethesda sent me a copy for early access, like super early access, like earlier than early access, early access. It started today, so I'm very near the beginning. Uh, yeah, okay. I think maybe we might be... My ship is right there! <sighs> I've grabbed literally everything I could get my little grubby mitts on. I'm guessing there's no more loot up here, so... Does my jetpack... That's not how jetpacks work, apparently. <laughs> I thought that's how my jetpack worked. It's not how my jetpack worked. Credits. Do I even have it equipped? Is that maybe part of the problem? I have it equipped. Basic boost pack. How do you use a boost pack? By the way, if you're new here, hi. My name is Psyche. Welcome. I'm not mining any more stuff. I don't need it. Um, I'm a variety streamer from Northern Ireland. I stream space games, sandbox games, and story games. And uh, I spent thousands of hours playing uh, Skyrim and other Bethesda games. And I play a lot of space games. So Starfield is perfect for me and I'm really excited. Is that a cave? No, it's a tunnel. Secret tunnel. All right. Have we finished? We finished scanning that, right? Can you run the boost pack on low to carry more cups? <laughs> I need all of the mugs. I swear, my loot goblin weighs. Where did that guy die? I have no idea. I don't think I care. They don't really, well, their suits are worth a lot of money. A tunnel's just a quick cave. Through the mines in, it literally is though. How many sandwiches? I only have one and it's already been bitten once. It's a bitten sandwich. <laughs> All right, I'm going back to my ship. Heck this nonsense. We are leaving. Also, it's nighttime. Yes, O2 is basically your stamina bar. That's why I started taking damage earlier. I don't know if you saw it. Is there dungeons? I mean, there'll be caves, probably. There were in Skyrim, so I don't see why not. Hi, Paul. Paul, thank you for the resub. Look, it's my friend. I have already scanned them a lot. I need to finish scanning them, but I'm gonna drop my stuff off. 
spaceship. My time is the default state of the universe. Right, fast. I could fast travel to my ship. I'm not going to do that. Because it was right up the hill. To reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of New It's Atlantis. me stealing a sandwich so you Never can have worry. it. This will all become second nature before too long. I probably should have listened to him. Um, do I have anywhere to store stuff or am I just going to have to drop it? Because, I mean, I will. Do I have like a chest I can store stuff in? Bye, Vasco. Um... I don't know. This is technically a cargo bay, right? Soon, Valdrico. You're still on Crete? What's your point? What's your point? Say it with your chest. <laughs> okay, I would like to drop. Don't worry about it, okay? All of my mugs. Look, it's 14 mugs. Fourteen mugs, perfect. And I would like to drop these and a bubble level. I think I'll keep most of the stuff. I need to go sell. Is that all good? Where did it go? Beautiful. I think so, Obsidian. I know I have fourteen mugs on this table, so I can have fourteen friends over. Last travel directly from the missions menu. Press tab. Are you gonna tell me? Are you gonna? Are you gonna tell me? Oh no! Okay. <laughs> Activities: Visit the London landmark on Earth. All right, here we gra grab jump to Jemison. Press R to automatically plot a course to your next objective. Oh, cool! Jump. Yeah, playing a keyboard. Drop the damn succulents. Look. We're in Alpha Centauri. Oh, there's so many things. Hi. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure I don't have contraband yet. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Ooh. 